Alrighty, here we go. Just to hopping back in for some more 70s to die action. Seems as though we are set. It's good. Check. Clicking has been clicked. Alright, cool. <laughs> well, yesterday, this game ripped my face off. <laughs> I hopped in here and I was like, yeah, we're gonna do permadeath nightmare. I got this. Absolutely got wrecked. <laughs> so we're gonna give it another go today. Um, so we'll be starting a new game. Uh, this lady is pretty rocking, so we're gonna stick with her. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it like a private game. I seriously doubt I'll ever have anybody in here, but this does just at least give me the option for that. Um, let's go ahead and check those options, make sure they're all set. Nope. Let's go down to rule sets. Whoop. There we go, Nightmare. It's no joke. <laughs> now I do remember there were a couple things that I needed to adjust. Uh, the drop on death doesn't matter. Uh, that's fine. I think I'm going to leave enemy spawning at medium. I normally play very high, but that's when I'm not worried about dying, right? If I die, I just pick my stuff up and go back to whatever I was doing. Uh, but yeah, yesterday, running around on medium. Got wrecked. <laughs> so we'll leave that. Um, loot respawn time, that's just nonsense. Um, if we do get things rolling, I would actually like to be able to loot things uh, more than once a month. Uh, loot abundance, I think I'll leave it. I think we were doing okay on that. 50 minutes, yes, yes. Okay. And I don't need any multiplayer stuff. Alright, insane. Always run. Feral 6... 18. I do like the 18. Not a huge fan of the long nights. Although it doesn't really matter a whole lot, does it? You know? It's always run, so... Whatever. <laughs> It'll just make Horde Nights a little bit shorter, I guess. But, uh... Yeah. That should be it. Go ahead and do that. Start the game. And yesterday, I just... I did uh, Permadeath as my seed. Um... But I got to look at that map a bit too much. So what we're going to do here is do ooh, permadeath 2. And that should change things up uh, just enough that I'm not playing on the same map. Because I don't want to have, like, you know, map knowledge going into all of this. Yes, it is correct. Go! Okay, you gotta be serious. Be serious here. Yesterday I was, uh, even though I had been getting kind of wrecked, I'd say I was overconfident, right? Like, uh, my last death last night, I was trying to loot a bird's nest while running from zombies. That's dumb. <laughs> And you'll hear me, like, if you saw it, um, I'm all like, oh, what is it? I got it! And then immediately got killed. Like, just got stunned and then dead. You know, like, these zombies, uh, a lot of them can kill me in one to two hits. Um, some of them, it really only takes, like, three. So, uh, yeah, I need to be, like, IRL survivalist instincts here. <laughs> Don't just be trying to, like, loot random junk while you're running about. It's a bad idea. Also, uh, one thing that I wasn't doing, uh, which I'm really going to try to focus on today, is um, just getting everything I need, you know, before I even really move anywhere. Like yesterday, I was like, oh, there's a town, let's go that away. And like, I'm running around with like my torch and a can of chili, you know, I don't have any way to defend myself. So um, I guess I could throw the can of chili at him, it'd probably hurt. But yeah, so today... Oh, snap, that's a spawn. That's a spawn, brother. <laughs> that's good stuff. Get out of here, basic survival. Right by the highway. That is so handy. Okay, plenty of forest action. Maple forest. Fabulous place to start. Uh, but yeah, like I said, before we do anything, let's just start a punching away. Get everything we can get as soon as possible. Round two! Fight! <laughs> 
<laughs> Indeed, you're welcome any other. Let's see if I can uh, avoid getting my face bitten off today. <laughs> Welcome in. Hope the day is going well for you. I'm thinking I learned some valuable lessons yesterday, so let's see what we can do with that. I think that should be my five small stones. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, cool, 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 cool. Alright, so bedroll. Craft. Yeah, check it out. So we have a pine forest there, maple forest here. Uh, that looks like a bit of a desert over there as well. Super handy. And they spawned us on the road. Very, very nice. So it should be really easy to find a city. Oh yeah, and land claim blocks uh, basically useless to me. So we're just going to scrap that thing and I will use that iron as is necessary. Oops. Helps if I remember what the buttons do. Okay, let's do that, let's do that. Um, let's put the torch there and get our stone axe a roll in here. Oh, there it is. It's a pretty spot, indeed. Yeah, I'm pretty hyped about this spawn. Good, a good times. All right, so I do need some more plant fiber. Maybe I just kind of like uh, chop this thing up a bit. I mean, really, I could just scrap the bed roll. Like, in this style of playthrough, there is no need for a bedroll. Ah, uh, yes, I'm using a different seed this time. Um, I did permadeath with the number two after it. <laughs> I know, super creative there, but uh, <laughs> we do what we can around here. <laughs> Take that small stone. Okay, I do need stone though. Robert! I was hoping there'd be like a resource boulder nearby. Come here, Cotton. I need you. Patch of resource boulders and cotton right here. Very, very handy. So allow me to create like just regular bandages. Uh, maybe if I need to like stop a bleed out or whatever, but uh, also a splint. Super, super handy. Being able to have a splint readily available. sit here and chop on this thing for a little bit and I have zero feathers as of right now Go ahead and make one of those um, I need all my plant fiber clothing real quick do that, some of that, some of that and that make those, cool alright, now make for chop <laughs> I'm Miss Mermaid. Hello, hello, and a welcome in. Thank you very much for those uh, hollow bits. <laughs> Greatly appreciated, as always. Oh, game! What did you do? No! Don't you dare! Game! Come back to me! <gasps> no! What do you mean? <gasps> uh. I don't know that I've ever seen that happen before. Okay. <laughs> we're good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> That's weird. I guess it was trying to break that block at the same time it was finishing a crafting thing and finishing up that quest line. I think it was just too much for the game to handle. <laughs> the game's just like, no, my brain. <laughs> Oh man, I would have been salty if the game crashed like 10 minutes into the stream. Yeah, needed a moment to think, indeed. 
Oh my goodness. But chopping down on one of these and one tree should be good for a little bit. Snoop Dib. Yo yo. What's up, man? <laughs> Welcome in. So far, uh, same thing. What's going on with the game today? No way. Like, it's not even doing anything right now. I would pretty much a, a solo player. Like, oh, geez, there we go. Every once in a while, I do play with folks, um, but I'd say that is pretty rare. So, yeah, sorry, I'm kind of a, uh, I'm a bit of a loner. <laughs> I'm a loner man. Let's see if we can't find something good. All right, here we go. I don't want any seeds or anything. I mean, I could just like toss them in the ground real quick, but I can chop this thing down and not have to worry about any seeds. While we wait on our stamina, let's go ahead and get this rolling. <laughs> I'm a lone wolf, basically. <laughs> Alright, we still need feathers, something fear us, because we do not have any. But yeah, that was one of my biggest issues. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I guess everyone kind of has their own play style that they enjoy. Um, I'd say generally for me, like, uh, this, like, doing this permadeath stuff is extremely new to me. Really, like, I'm all about, uh, just building in this game. And it's like, the, the series that I'm just about to finish like, um, it's about, I don't know, I think we're approaching like 650 hours on one save file and one build. I've only been working on one build that entire time. That's just, I don't know, it's just kind of my style, I guess. <laughs> Got this big, I don't know, enclosed town on a hill, basically. <laughs> All to myself. <laughs> The lack of birds is disconcerting. Or the bird's nest here. I'm not just walking by him, am I? At all. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on today. This is uh, also disconcerting. I think it's like as the game's trying to load in the map, it's freezing it up. I have some people watching me. I do. So it's like playing with people? I could see that. Yeah. You know, just kind of having people in and talking, hanging out with this. But I've definitely done many, many streams of me talking to myself. <laughs> Yeah, there's something about the uh, terrain loading in today. Something is just off. Like, this should all be here right now. There it goes. Strange days. Strange days. Let's see. So what do we need here? I need to make... McClude? Which I will be very quickly destroying. I'd like to get more than 12 feathers. <laughs> Come on, night vision goggles. We need money for the trader. Okay. <laughs> 86 gunpowder, that is no joke. Saw uh, Wild Mantel open up a tree stump earlier. It had like 60 something bullet tips in it. Day one. Well, what do you mean? Hmm. 
Yeah, this is a little strange. Like, normally it seems like I would find many, many birds' nests out here. Hey, some shorts and a jar of honey. I can take that. One dupe coin. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right. RNG gods. Give me a money helmet. Okay. Two oil. Close enough. That's interesting. Yeah, spawning right by the highway was super nice. I just need... Actually, one thing I can make right now is this barbed wire. Kind of hopefully save myself here. Uh, let's just do five. I was hoping to find more bird's nests, but I should I really need to get this going so I can at least have something in here. And we'll make a new club and a bow. I feel like I'm being more cautious today. <laughs> Walking a bit more slowly. First zombie spawn. First guy I've seen anyway. The highway goes out that way. Wood frames and the like we can wait on. Robot. All right, it seems like things are starting to load in a bit more easily. Whoa, that's not good. If that dude sees me, he may. Yep, he saw me. <laughs> he might invite some friends over. And uh, I'm not ready to entertain company just yet. Oh no! Oh, double no! Whoop. I'm gonna stick that there. That's kind of a bad idea, but we'll do it anyway. A little bit of a waste, I don't think. Oop, not a waste. Come on, load, 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 load. This dude hits me, I'm toast. Do 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 Super scary. I can't tell if I'm hitting him or not. Alright. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Barbed wire, you are my hero. <laughs> the trials of insane difficulty with level 19 club. Okay, I thought I heard somebody else coming. I think my first zombie kill in every attempt I've done here has been a, uh, a beheading. It's super weird. Whew. Yeah, part part for the win. Yeah, that was like a it was a fantastic tip I got from uh, Wild Man's Hell. I used to use wooden spikes, but they're like a hundred wood a piece, and yeah, they will just absolutely wreck a zombie. 
But early game, that is really expensive to be messing with. Alright, brother. Come back this way. I don't want to keep backing up. <laughs> back right into another group of zombies. These dudes are so tanky! Why do you have a jillion hit points, brother? Get out of here! <laughs> My club is like broken just from hitting these two. Oops. Boy. Oh, it's because my stamina is non existent, that's why. Okay. I didn't realize my stamina was gone. Standing on a tree. Okay. Hey, cat food. I'll take some of that. Okay. We've narrowly survived our first encounter with zombies. I'm gonna save the food. Just in case I take some damage and need to heal up. Okay, so that highway just keeps continuing out that way. Let me check my map real quick. I think I might even just head back that way. I don't know, it's tough to tell. What POI is out here? Let me take a peek at some of this stuff real quick. Maybe rocking if we just like ran into a trader. Not that I'd really be able to do much there, but uh, just knowing where a trader is right away would be very handy. Because then I can run in a different direction and try to put my campfire and stuff down and hopefully be rewarded with a new trader location. No trader. Just a lot of friends. Way there, nurse. Mm -hmm. oh, there's another one here. Okay, I think that's about all I needed to see. There's also another POI right there. That's kind of odd, though, because I don't see a gravel road leading to it. Let's go this way for a second. There's just like that little cutout space with a flat spot on it. Like, I'd say probably 90% of the time you should find a POI sat right there. Zombie lady chilling right there. One also over to my left. Now I are just curious and apparently wrong about POIs. Most of the time I see like a steep piece of land there and a flat spot, it's like POI action. Well, fail. Don't listen to me. <laughs> this is a little bit weird. That's how they generally spot POIs in the distance a lot of times. Oh, one thing we haven't done is uh, mark our hub city. Oh, there's a cave right behind me. Uh, so we're super far north.
It's probably the closest I've ever gotten that. So the hub is going to be down that way. Let us avoid that place. I'm very curious. Looks like a snow biome over there. Indeed it is. I'm super failing right here because I have kind of stopped looking for bird's nests. Got caught up trying to find things. Hey! <laughs> That's amazing. That may uh, literally save my life. I should get back down to the highway. Mm. Zombie lead. Oh yeah, I put down my three frames, huh? 27 arrows. This lady has lost us. Oh, I see what's up. She's just hiding. She's just hiding. Then we jump down, she's gonna eat us. Oh no, she just she just like walked over there. Oh my gosh, there are like three of them over here. I'm gonna sneak off this way. Like super quietly. Unnecessarily quiet. <laughs> Please don't see me on the ladies. Did see another one over there also. And run! <sighs> Alright. <laughs> oh no! No, no, no! That is a giant boulder. I don't know if I can get on top of that. The dude chasing me is slower than I am, though. It's one of the blue guys. Uh, can I get up there? Pub him. Yeah! Got it. What now, zombie? I'm on a giant boulder. Oh! You've brought your friends! Oh! Lots of them! I got you no shot on that guy. Oh! <laughs> hey man! Cheater! Cheater! <laughs> Did you see that? He hit that rock and it uh, changed its shape and allowed him to get on top. Get out of here! Hacking zombies? What do you mean? Oh jeez, I gotta, I gotta need to find a place to hold up. That's what I need to do. I am risking a whole lot. It's that overconfidence thing. I'm telling him, like, ah, oh, I can do that. We'll just run around till we find a town. No, nope. you need to go hold up so you don't die. <laughs> All right, we found the highway. We also found another zombie. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Run, run, run. That dude is slower than I am as well, so we'll make a run for it, even though we're just about out of the stamina. Uh, 22. What do you mean? Game. There we go. 
getting stuck on my feet. Yeah, you can't take the same route I did, brother. Oh, no, no, no. Dang, zombie! run do they increase speed at night nah this is is uh when they're on always run it's just that's their constant speed oh oh trixie look at him go oh he's almost got it figured it out got it figured it out i know words get off me <laughs> Got it. Oh, okay, crawler. We're good. Um, although I do need to be careful because he may summon in some friends nearby. Oh, come on. Blueberries. Trying to like get a bit of XP so we could start. Man, that made the squishy uh, D limbing sound, but nothing happened. <laughs> Maybe there was a zombie off in the distance breaking their feet off. Ooh, short iron though. That's good stuff. Oops. <laughs> uh. Unintentionally just teabagged that zombie. <laughs> They're gonna be angry about that. Ooh, lumberjacks! Uh uh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Absolutely not. Alright, we're getting out of the snow biome. Uh, a lumberjack, I believe, can just one shot me. With like my, my base 100 wellness, I think I'll just get one shot. Oh, let's scrap that. We're gonna scrap that. Um, still gonna hold off on the food for a little bit. Okay, so we have 47 stone. I need to get more stone and feathers. Hey, feathers. Need stronger weapons for them? Oh, yeah, yeah. I need stronger weapons for everything. These day one weapons are not very good. <laughs> you know, if uh, on on like a you know more chilled out difficulty, it's fine. I do have somebody after us now. But insane difficulty, uh, yeah, these early game weapons are all but useless. It's like I have to basically find somewhere that I can shoot down at them or just get to somewhere where they can't hit me. Because these aren't going to stun them or stop them or anything. I'll hit them and then they'll just hit me right back. <laughs> and they hit so hard it'll stun me and then they just eat my face. But I tend to like my face right where it is. And so I would appreciate them not doing that. So we did get our first level. Um, we need 10 points for our first point of uh, sexual Tyrannosaurus, so we do need to level again. And honestly, that's where I put my first point, like, every single time. Especially on an always run. Actually, let me use this for a little bit. Oops, that was long enough. Man, finding that med kit was rocking the. Okay. Thought I heard somebody.
Come on. This should give us some pretty decent weapons, though. After I'm done making all those arrows. Oh man, it's 10 o'clock. Okay, cool. 90 stone, not a ton, but a reasonable amount. Let's check the map real quick. Where are we at? Okay, so this is... It looks like... Actually, kind of, wait a minute. Oh no, there are two highways side by side. Interesting. This is a whole lot of looping around and interesting stuff like that. I'm going to follow this highway over here for a bit. The issue with being right on a highway, though, is generally there's nowhere really good to hide. Wow, the highways are interesting out here. Big ol' lake. Yep. I kinda wanna follow this for a bit. Is that burnt forest? No, that's just stuff by the water, okay. That looks like a burnt forest, though. Oh, come on, dude. Jump! Yeah, and I probably want to stay out of there. Because dogs do spawn in the burnt forest. Um, and the burning zombies are faster than you. The list of zombies not faster than you is very short. And I should probably just state that every once in a while. Come on. It's kind of odd though, like... Yesterday it seemed like I was running into POIs left and right. I have seen very little out here today. Yep, there's one. Maybe we take one of those over. At least give me somewhere to kind of like set up. Hold down if I need to, I guess. I hear that burning zombie. I'm gonna run away. Oh, there's a lady right there. Okay, last thing I want to do is like activate all of these zombies. Go down here real quick. As far as I know, light does not attract zombies in this game. Okay. Yeah, look at all these highways. Let's, uh, 
with both of these being right here, I want to say there's going to be a city right up in here somewhere. I'm just like, I'm just too stubborn. <laughs> I'm like, I should go hold up in that house. And I'm like, nah, let's go find a city. Okay, so you can see that highway going through the snow biome. Very much like to avoid that. Also, wasteland. Not a fan. I'm glad the game has kind of sorted itself, though. Those really long freezes in the beginning <laughs> were uh, a bit unsettling in there. I wasn't sure what was happening. It's like I, did, I have stuff like that happen, you know, late game, when I've been playing a save file for a while, but not on day one. Hey! Athletics level 5. That I can dig. How many feathers do we got? 73. 93 stone. Let me go uh, beat on a rock over here somewhere. It's like the resource boulders just give you more per section, you know? It's like the regular stone has 500 hit points per section, whereas the resource boulder only has four, and you just get more stuff out of the resource boulders, which makes sense. That's kind of what they're there for, I guess. Oh man, now we're finding all the feathers. Or at least all the bird's nests, I mean. Oh, here's a little... Ugh, slightly secluded boulder. Somebody walking around, she's just hanging out up on top of that boulder. Another guy right in front of us there. Should be good though. Just kind of like keep making these. Like I, I use them until they get down to about 50%, a bit lower. Because like once they get below that 50% mark, they just start doing less and less damage. Um, and you know, I don't feel like I'm wasting too much by scrapping them and getting a new one going. It's not really spam crafting. You know, I'm not sitting here making like, you know, 50 stone axes in my inventory. But I mean, that's just kind of part of the game, and unfortunately. Oh, I already had another one. Oops. Oh well. Same with stamina. My stamina is really low, so I'm not going to do much damage. Get below 50%. Got level 11 on here. Just kind of give a quick peek about. Get my stamina back up. That deer scared me, man. <laughs> yeah, they're right next to me. Just a deer. Alright, how are we doing on other items here? Um, 
276, 110. Okay. That's not too bad. And some of these things I'm just kind of holding on to. I might just sell off to the trader. Basically, these are probably going to get scrapped and put into one stack, most likely. This I'll probably just sell off. Although I'm really not going to get any money for that. I might just scrap it. Okay, they are much brighter than uh, a torch, but I can't stick a flashlight on a wall <laughs> when I need to use my hands. Ooh, shopping cart. Beer? Come on, beer. Alright, glass jar, good enough. sunlight coming back out even though the settings are always run nighttime is still more stressful <laughs> I forget who was mentioning it yesterday but it's like yeah you can see them coming during the day <laughs> it's like that's a really good point <laughs> some aloe seed aloe and blueberries <gasps> yeah buddy No, I can't use that thing until I can make at least iron arrowheads. Well, that's a pretty fun schematic to get early on. To be fair though, outside of uh, exploding crossbow bolts, I, I prefer the regular bow. Man, this is no joke. There are no cities on this map. <laughs> now this long highway is uh, going in between water, so I hope there's no zombies along it because I have nowhere to go. <laughs> I just have to keep running in a straight line. I swear I just saw somebody. I did. Risky, I know, right? But I gotta find something. Where are we at, by the way? What's our position? Oh, we're almost at the edge of the map. I think the edge is like 4,000, right? Yeah, somewhere up in here. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Make uh, maybe just a couple more barbed wire here. It's too quiet? I don't know. It's a bit unsettling. Okay, looks like the... Does it go that way? Ooh, that's wasteland. Or it's either wasteland or the edge of the map. I'm not quite sure. Word up, man! Hunting knife book, that's no joke. Yeah, that's wasteland. If it were the edge of the map, well, it wouldn't be <laughs> running along that direction, but it would also be green. It's like a weird radioactive green color. And it's like absolutely flat, you know? Like the terrain just looks flat. Looks like the edge of the map is water <laughs> on this one. <laughs> Your spidey senses it prickly. <laughs> Alright, I 
I think I need to eat something. I was holding off just in case I got uh, hit by somebody. 6.9, 13.9. Let's just do that for now. If you eat a bit of food, you can at least heal, heal up. Probably won't be a lot, but it's better than using your bandages. A can of food will not stop a bleed out. <laughs> Probably cause one though if you throw it hard enough. <laughs> yeah, indeed, Mr. Red. Right. Oof. Is that road dead in there? It's rough if that's the case. May not be the case though. Let's see. Looks like that's the case. This has been uh, this has been a very interesting trip. <laughs> I have yet to find a single city. Maybe. Freak me out. Freaked out. Alright. Wow. Yeah, yesterday it was just like, you know, they basically spawned me by a city more than once, you know. And today it's just like, nah. Good luck. Alright, so that POI. Not gonna be super useful. That's all burnt forest out there. And I have had enough gameplay in the burnt forest to last me for quite a while. That Hardworlder base, um, Masada, and I think the last base I built on. Traveler, we're all in the burnt forest. <laughs> Come on, man. Where are you at? Okay. That's one of those uh, faster than me zombies. I am currently surrounded. I'm gonna say that I'm not a big fan of this. Alright, we're gonna be here for a bit. And I may actually not have enough arrows to do this. They're breaking my frames right now. Might as well. I need uh I need something that's gonna do more damage. Come on. Oh, ninety nine, come on, dude. Oop, not good. When they start standing on top of each other, that's bad news. Um, oh, what do you mean I'm stunned? Where to who? 
Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. I just fell off. The stone wore off and I just sprinted right off the edge. That was, uh, not good. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in a bit of trouble here. Come on. We're gonna try it. Hopefully this works. Come on. Come on. Put it back down. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna double stack. Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, we're working on it. Let's see what happens here. But yeah, that stun messed me up something fierce. Because you just have slower movement speed, and then it wore off, and I started sprinting. I, like, sprinted right off my safety in that ear. Oh, man. Oh, I should have shot the dude on the ground. That was a bad idea. Could have got that times three damage. Alright. One. And what's kind of rough is I'm most likely going to lose this lead. Like, I'll probably use all my arrows fighting these guys and I won't get anything for it. Because <laughs> the bodies are going to stack and destroy each other. I guess I can move around. Cause I I actually hit him. That was funny. Let's see if we can pull some of them over to this side. Because I could really use this loot. Alright, lady. Kind of waiting for her to sit still for a second. They always seem to know exactly when to move to avoid a headshot. <laughs> uh oh, they're breaking that stone, man. Let's give her a break. And all these red shirts out here, you think it'd be easy to take them out, right? Oh, let's go this way. We have 100 arrows left. How's our bow? Doing okay. Once again, once it gets below 50%, I will make another one. Ah, uh, that needed to be higher for a headshot. Oops, that was a waste. What is this lady doing? Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to like clip him in the top of the head here. What are y'all doing? Oh, 
I'm glad I made a ton of arrows before we got started with all of this. This crawler man. I probably shouldn't even waste arrows on him. I can just run him. Uh, hit him with the club. Come on. You gonna move? He's stunned. I should have taken that shot. My goodness, these folks have way too many hit points. There we go. But yeah, I'm really just trying to spread them out. Because I would very much like to get any loot they're going to drop me. Ooh, can I shoot through stacked frames? Interesting. <laughs> this dude is actually underneath me now. Uh, that's unfortunate. Is that place got a forge? No, it looks like the uh, embers in the fireplace. Check this dude out. GG, brother. I'm sharing some first class initiative here. Yeah. Really, anything but a headshot is kind of useless right now. Just, uh, they have way too many hit points. I was, I was hoping I could pull him out over here, but he's he's in it. His AI is trapped. If I could break his leg off or something, that'd be nice. All right, that's how we go for it. Second, I'm gonna smash a troll. There we go, troll smashed. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Hey, brother. <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm gonna smack you in the face. He's almost there as well. If he breaks that block, we're gonna have issues. Undetected. What do you mean? This crawler is just chilling right here. <laughs> Oof. Oh no, he's dead! Alright then, yeah. Didn't realize I'd killed him. We did it! <laughs> we barely survived! Oh, man, I'm gonna scrap that. That took a whole lot of bullets. Or bullets, <laughs> arrows, whatever, same thing. Yeah, all of this brass can go into one stack. Frames. Woo, there we go. Eviscerated remains. We got double the loot off that zombie. I still don't know what causes that. Every once in a while you like loot a zombie and then chop up the body and the eviscerated remains will drop with the exact same loot you just picked up. Very strange. Hey dear. Actually. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a knife yet. So we're not going to get as much, but I will be able to get my first bone from this as long as it isn't destroyed by that boulder. Hey, Lalo the Jeff. Uh, this is a solo playthrough, brother, and I'm dropping all of that meat on the ground. This is... Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't even know if many people would want to join. This survival, like, uh, nightmare settings always run, like, insane difficulty. There's all kinds of nonsense in here. 
Alright, cool, got our first boom. It has a chest in it? Word up. Oh, I didn't even realize I had grain alcohol. That's good stuff. I actually need that and that <laughs> and probably that. Wait a minute. That's a very small wooden chest. Um, torches are your basic stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, torch. Torch. Animal fat. Just make a few of those real quick. <clears throat> but yeah, like it. Here, I'll just make mine. But yeah, ones that you make have way more space in them. I don't need three of those. Or I mean four of those. Three is a good number. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Alright, things that I don't need at the moment. Jars I should go fill up. Okay. Man, I'm almost out of arrows. Oh, I can make another 56, yeah. Oh, come on, man. Where's your chance? Give me the good loot. What I should have done already is put a door on... <clears throat> This saved me from getting absolutely wrecked. It's pretty harsh. As far as loot goes, man, game, that was rough. Oh, I looted this whole house, got like three things. Actually, I should have put that the other way. That would have been smarter, because then I could put a frame right there. Something I could do is, like, zombies come this way, though. I'll just drop a frame right here, upgrade it, and then just kind of, like, shoot them over the one block gap. Be wary, though, because uh, crawlers will just crawl right through it. <laughs> Interesting. For some reason, I thought there would be a, uh, yep, bird's nest up here. So, wait a minute, animal hide, sound protection against cold weather, and does a fair job against other damage types. No, I don't want insulation. Whew, man. Alrighty. Boop, boop. Where's that airdrop out there? Did someone want to make me famous again? They sure did, Miss Mermaid. They were gonna hook me up. Oh, he saw me. I'm not going to chase him down. I probably shouldn't be carrying uh, meat on me right now while I'm out and exploring.
actually. Okay, we're gonna wait on that. Um, I'm gonna make a new bowing club after that. Every time I make a fair number of arrows, I like to make a new bowing club. <laughs> All right. Those 50 arrows I just made will probably jump my weapon levels up. Actually, I don't know how much. Maybe 10, 15 levels? Who knows? You can just check weaponsmithing. It'll tell you what level you're crafting at. But yeah, I'm starting to think there aren't any act any uh, cities on this map. <laughs> I haven't seen a single city this entire time. It's kind of nuts. Those levels, though. Um, okay. Thank you. Hey, man! Sorry, I didn't mean to yell at y'all, but they spawned that dude right in front of me. That's messed up game, <laughs> you can't do that. He's like running along, like, oh, there's no zombies, this is nice, and we spawn him like two feet in front of my face. Get out of here, what do you mean? I guess this is the waking nightmare, yeah? I can't tell if he's gonna move forward or not. It's kind of weird that he's just standing there. Yeah, brother. All right, this is gonna be really annoying. There we go. I can't really afford to waste the arrows right now. Speaking of, I should have made a new bow before I started shooting this guy. Bone shiv and my bow. I guess I could have made the arrows first. No. Wait, what am I missing? Oh, I moved it up one instead of doing max. Wait a minute. Feathers, stone. <gasps> we have no wood. <laughs> That's kind of an issue. All right, let's sort that real quick. Hey, that's amazing. Not really worth much money, but that thing will absolutely keep me warm if I start to get freezing. That plus 40 is no joke. Alright, let's, uh, let's go make for chop on something here. Probably just do one of these. Oop, not near that guy, I won't. Those dudes are super scary. They'll one shot me. My goodness. Yeah, I'm, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know that I've ever run around this long and not found a city. Like I said, a couple of the spawns we had yesterday, I just, like, looked over to the left or to the right. I'm like, oh, there's a city. <laughs> it was pretty straightforward business. Uh, 
That should help. 752. Mm -hmm. Got a crawler around here. I just don't want him to activate that uh, big dude near me. Excuse me. See you later, crawler. I want this airdrop. Deer? <laughs> Scared me. Zombie? Let's go ahead and let's start taking the fight two to zombies and see how that nope. Let's <laughs> see how that goes. Man, he saw me from super far away. Basically the uh the boulder method is like my go-to, I guess. Cause I don't really know how many of them are gonna be showing up. What do you mean? Alright, well apparently we can't get on top of that one. Yeah, we got a crew now. Oh yeah, <laughs> just hit each other. That'd be super helpful. Alright, I'm actually just... Nope, nope. Just gonna sit here for a second. Oh! Rob Antel. Hello, sir. Uh, we're on day two. <laughs> we're still with it. We are surviving. Oh, jeez. Wild man selling crew, he says. My goodness. Welcome in, all you fine folks. And for any of you folks who are not familiar with the Sir Wild Mantel, uh, as I'm sure anyone in here is. <laughs> Absolutely go check that gentleman out. Some days are the Minecraft, seven days to die days. Fabulous time. Uh, generally plays a lot of Fallout 76. Um, and the dude is like a library of knowledge for that game. Minecraft as well. My goodness. You got some amazing stuff going on in there. Yeah, anybody who's uh, not familiar... Definitely check him out. Ooh, Fezzle! You put some extra raids in there? Word up! <laughs> Raid hoop! This dude won't stand still. What? I pierced his ear with that! Okay. And then he teleported around. <laughs> Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Alright, now he's stuck. Yeah, these dudes are no joke. Journal entry water. I know, I know game. <laughs> I knows about the water. Woo! Alright. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness. But welcome in everybody. Um I have recently started my very first uh, permadeath, uh, I guess, series. <laughs> we tried this a few times yesterday. I absolutely got wrecked. Um, so I'm attempting to be a lot more cautious today. We are on nightmare settings. Uh, so always run insane difficulty. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else comes with that, but... It's interesting. <laughs> Basically, the game is just being like, no, <laughs> you don't want this. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, my first time yesterday, we made it to day five. I was so excited, and I got overconfident, and they just ripped me apart. So, I figured we'd give it another go today. Every time, uh, yeah, every time I die, d delete the save file and start again. Today I actually did a different seed as well because I was gaining too much map knowledge on that first map. <laughs> Put some water. <laughs> Put some your Captain Obvious song. Oh yeah, water. It exists. I can see that. 
What? That went over him? No way. There's so much drop on these bows. Oh, jeez. What's going on? There we go. This is actually kind of scary, though. Because now I'll have meat on me. And uh, zombies really like raw meat. <laughs> and tear me up. But yeah, looking in. Um, how did the rest of the stream go? Woo! <laughs> hey, Lorex. Yeah, as I was taking off, you were starting a new world, brand new game. Man, I love starting new games on this. It's so much fun. I guess that's kind of the benefit of... Oh, hey there, brother! Where's my toes? You back up. Oof. Uh, that big dude will absolutely wreck my day. Yeah, like I was saying, I guess that's the benefit of uh, permadeath is <laughs> you may have a chance to start many, many new games <laughs> if that's something you enjoy. <laughs> okay, he's still there. And we're running, we're running, we're running. Oh, check that POI out. That's a big old tent. Man, I shouldn't have picked that meat up. Should not have picked that meat up. If we can just get this, we'll be all right. <laughs> How much space do I have? Okay, so I should be able to open that chest and just like grab everything and take off running. If need be. But yeah, this is definitely giving me a new, I don't know, respect for the game. <laughs> Ah, there he is. Come on. Those mag kits, though. Come on, put it down. Take it. Take it. Save me. Got a 95 errors. Well, these dudes take so much damage. Everybody, everybody's tanky. But we have got to get some food and water in us pretty badly. I don't have a cooking pot is my issue. I can't cook water. Oops, that was bad. Hit him in the face! Hit him in the face! <laughs> Oops. What? Yeah, some of these, I swear, I'm like piercing their ears or something for them. It's like right by. Can you get this sorted, brother? Yeah, I know. I know. You're hungry. Got a can of cat food in there. Hey! We're level four! That's amazing! <laughs> Doing dear. It's pretty decent shot even by like actual hunting standards. <laughs> oh, where'd he go? <gasps> okay. I was like, don't be diluting diluting <laughs> deleting my loot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can at least do like some charred meat or something, you know? Something that at least keep me alive. Ooh. 
<laughs> That's a super good idea, Lorex. That would be hilarious. They pulled that off in The Walking Dead. They were more concerned about those pigs. Uh, I almost just want to sell that. We'll see. I'll take it back with me. I may end up selling it. And same with this AK part. Probably just sell it. I want to hit this tent site uh, because uh, it could potentially have a cooking pot just lying there. And that has a high chance of saving my life. <laughs> so I can make some water. Alright, so we got a crawler man. Alright, we got friends. We got friends. I know, I know. You're hungry. You're thirsty. We're all gonna die. We got this. Basically, I'm just kind of like build myself this very fancy wooden frame defense here. I guess what we can do for visibility's sake is throw a torch up. Well, I can see just fine. I know that's really hard to see on stream. How many arrows? Oh, jeez. What do we got? Stone. Yeah, I'm going to make the rest of these real quick. Uh, most likely we'll need every single one of these. Alright, zombie lady. Oof. How do they always know? They just like stand there until I go to release the bow and then they just like jerk their head out of the way. Every time. Zombies are super smart. Okay, she's confused for a while. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's because of the uh, height of this block, I can't jump up there. We're gonna just do that. Woof! You see that? I almost ran right off the edge. Wouldn't have been the first time today. Oh my goodness. Alright, now he's confused for a while. <laughs> I'm making you nervous? Now they're making me nervous. <laughs> so he's busy for a bit. I'm trying not to waste arrows on that crawler because I'll just walk down there and hit him with the club. I also want to avoid, like I'm not going to kill him right now because I don't want that body destroyed. Where'd the other guy go? I thought there was another guy. Maybe it was just this guy who ran back around. I totally left myself open there, didn't I? Uh, also, my bow is toast. Uh, they're calling in reinforcements. Okay. I'm not going to worry about him for a second. He's just going to keep running back and forth and I cannot afford to waste those arrows. <laughs> Alright. There we go. We got an angle on him now. How many headshots are you going to take?
<laughs> he just ran around to the other side for unknown reasons. GG. Yeah, that one I can't shoot through because they're stacked that way. Oh, Mr. Mermaid. Thank you very much for this hello bit. Really appreciate it. Come on, guy. What? Dang. Come on now. Hit detection, please. I'm actually about to start starving to death. Oh, dude, I do not have time for this. I wanted to save that honey, but I need something in my stomach or I'm gonna start losing wellness. Okay. So he's not gonna be a target for a while. This is the hardest thing about this is like, uh, once they get into a loop like that, it's extremely hard to hit them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I don't even know where that uh, that crawler ran off to. Oh, no. I wasted a frame. Those are precious. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave the rest of them right where they're at for a second. Just in case I need to hop back up there. Water! Oh, glorious. Thank you. Candlestick! <laughs> oh, hit a zombie with it. Up that torch up, my apologies. Oh, yeah, it's super dark on stream. Okay, I guess the uh crawler gave up. <laughs> All right, so we should be good to loot this now. Oh man, they tore a hole in it. It was very useful. It could have been very useful to me. Beer! Mm, I mean, we got that grain alcohol though. I might just hold on to it. for now but yeah I was super there it is I was gonna say I was super hoping there'd be a cooking pot lying on the floor G G now we can go make all our own stuff okay this tent's coming home with us Okay, we already have a spot for cloth. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is that? I felt a disturbance in the frames. That's what killed me on my uh, one of my games last night. I was starting to build like a little platform setup so I could, you know, kind of have a safe space to do some work. 
and store my stuff. And while I was building it, I had zombies spawn in, like wandering hordes spawn in and just tore me apart. <laughs> it's a little sad. <laughs> no sir, in the Mesa Mermaid it will be. Alright, how can I do this without wasting any? Don't you dare. <laughs> if you take down the edges, the center just falls off. <laughs> yeah? Act like I never played this game before, huh? Alright, we should not have to worry about cloth for quite a some time here. Why is the cloth pink? Um, alright, it comes in various colors, <laughs> I guess, when you find them around the world. You find tan, uh, this like maroonish color, I guess, and blue and green and camo netting. You can only make that color that I just chopped down, but uh, yeah, you definitely find them in different styles around the map. Okay, I think we looted everything, yeah? <laughs> cool. Well, I got what I needed. Uh, let's go pick up our stiff. Because we cannot afford to be wasting anything. Yeah, I have 170 cloth now, so I should be good for anything that I need to make for a little while. And don't waste your torch, brother. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to that POI that I didn't mark, <laughs> so I have no idea where it's at. <laughs> you know that place where I put all my stuff? I want to say it was this one right here. I shot him in the knee. I'll have to Skyrim with you. Um, only thing I can't scoop up from this dude is the animal f uh, hide, animal hide. Oh, I'm carrying like two maple seeds, what do you mean? And one piece of paper I just saw, GG. Is worn off. <clears throat> Alright, it's 4 a.m. Book it back to the house. We've got meat, we've got eggs, we have empty jars with no water in them. Was there a uh, yeah, 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 water right here. Let me go fill those up real quick. So we can actually make something to drink. Maybe I could pick up some goldenrod on the way. Wait, no, no, no I don't have space. <laughs> Your Wi-Fi keeps stalling? Oh, bummer. It's rather unfortunate. I know, I know. I know you're super hungry. Gotcha. We're on our way. We got this. And I do have a free space, but I don't have time. My <laughs> character here is not doing well. I wonder if this tree stump has one of Fizzle's homemade <laughs> Big Macs in it. Save the day, brother. I'm like, I don't have time for picking up stuff. And I'm like, well, bird's nest. <laughs> uh, we might lose a point of wellness here, but that's all right. My character's like, no, no, it's not all right. <laughs> Need to put some food in my belly. 
I probably don't need the torch out anymore. I'm doing some light in my room though, my goodness. It's dark early around here. It's also because I really need some feathers right now. But yeah, this is like a super weird map. I have not found a city yet. I have distant terrain turned on. <laughs> they just don't exist, <laughs> as far as I can tell. Oh no. Uh oh. Ah, but that lady exists. Come on, lady. I gotta get home. I gotta feed my character. There it is. All right, we are now losing wellness. It is rather unfortunate that she just showed up. Lady. Oh, that was a good shot. Did you see that? Oh, I know, I know. You're super hungry. I got you. I'm leveling up my bladed weapons, apparently. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> We're like so close. And what's unfortunate is like I'm gonna have to put down my uh, campfire. Oh jeez. That is not who I wanted to run into. That dude has way too many hit points. Also, kinda hits like a truck. Just saying, not a fan. Ooh, duffel bag. Let's see if we can outrun this dude. We are actually faster than him. So, maybe able to. But we do smell like a delicious deer jerky. <laughs> okay, we're sensed. But oh, we're fine. Um, we need a campfire, like, yeah. <gasps> no! Uh, I'm one stone short. I can't actually make it. Hold up. We got this. I need all of this stuff out of my inventory. Good enough. No! Hit the flagstone, you maniac. What? Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say, it's not going to give me one stone. Alright, well... We're about to find out where our nearest traitor is. Uh, dude, what are you doing? Get out of here! I'm like trying to save my life. <laughs> Eggs. Meat. Let's go! Come on, bake it in eggs. Times a million. Uh, three minutes? Actually, let's start cooking. Okay. There we go. I did say, dear jerky. Fifth puzzle. I need that catcher here. There we go. Alright. All is well. All is well. Whew. That was scary business. I didn't even get the water. Wait a minute. I ran over to the water. It didn't fill? Oh, jeez. Well, <laughs> we gotta get some water. <laughs> I could have swore I hit the button to fill it, and then I just took off running. Uh, let's drop some of this off. <sighs> scary, a scary biz. Okay. So I need stone. I apparently have uh, no stone. We need grass, stone, we're good on wood, we have a reasonable number of feathers. So let's go take care of those things right now. Oh 
Oh yes, and I need to fill those water jars. Hobble. <laughs> Call him a jerky boy. Oof, disturbance in the frames. Who do we got? Anybody? I have a wandering horde show up at this house on dust. This thing is not meant for fighting. All right, well, that's our nearest traitor? Nah, that's my bedroll. Where's the traitor? What? There's no traitor on this map. It has to be behind my bedroll. It has to be in the direction directly behind my bedroll. That's because there's absolutely no markers on my compass. <sighs> yeah, there's no traitor on this map. <laughs> as far as I can tell. Hold on. I need a I need a different background to look look at. I wouldn't be behind my flag because that's the wrong side of the map. No way. Yeah, unless it it has to be. There is there are no other markers on my map. No traders and no cities. That's what it's looking like. There's lots of highway, but I've yet to see a single city. There's my hub city marker. That I placed myself. I've never seen a map that didn't have a trader on it. And like the thing is the game gives you your closest trader after you put down your campfire. Um from what I can see, there is none. There are none. And there's my wandering horde. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I knew I felt that disturbance. Come on. Alright, let's uh let's kinda light this up a little. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I thought I was just having a hard time finding uh, a city, but there may not be any. <laughs> There's gotta be something somewhere. This is the most gnarly map then, if that's the case. Okay, I can't afford to kill him right there, I need his loot. Same with this lady, if I can get her to move. This is going to be a super interesting playthrough if I survive long enough to check this map out more. Alright. Oh, while well, you're standing still, <laughs> I'm going to shoot you in the face a bit. Alright, try. She keeps moving though. I can't kill her there. Hey! Oh, we got points? <laughs> I got 15 points I'm sitting on. All right, I need you, lady. I need you to move. Come on. The shooter in the. I will send you to Skyrim, ma'am. <laughs> the Jerky Boys, the 1980s group, people that made the, the prank phone calls. 
Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that back in the D? Never like really spent any time, you know, listening to their stuff. But you know, I heard a few things here and there. Uh, <laughs> she just like ran out there and punched the grass. Look at this lady go. She gonna help me mow my lawn. Man, all right, <laughs> whatever, zombie lady. I don't have time for this. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to stop. I just need you to slow down. Thank you. <laughs> Since this is a wandering horde, we may have some more of them showing up. So I, I do need to be careful. Yes! Thank you! Uh, whatever. Okay, cool. She got a spot. Shams on images. Cassette tapes. Okay. I'm glad they didn't come this way. My home could not afford it. Why is this thing still running? That's what I want to know. <laughs> but you did anyway. <laughs> Such a rebel, Fizzle. Such a rebel. But you check this out, we have four med kits. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. We're super lucky on these drops, though. Alright, now can I make some water, please? <laughs> myself off here actually get a full belly <laughs> you know it should be good actually I carry that jar with me oops no I'm gonna leave that in there for now let's just leave these here for the time being all right so I am absolutely surprised at the fact that I don't believe there are any traitors on this map <laughs> Like I said, I've never seen that happen before. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything. That's so weird. Well, I guess we're out here alone, you know. The world is a harsh place. <laughs> Everyone's dead. Even the traitors. Yeah. There's nothing. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto slot machine is paying out, huh? this all right i i desperately need to get some resources so let's just do that for now and then i need to sort out what i'm gonna do <laughs> 
this is a uh, this is the first time for me. It's a very unique situation for me to find myself in. Seems that way. It seems like there's no point in trying to sell anything. The other issue with this is I'll never be able to get a tasting and brewing book. So I'll never be able to make my own beer. You can't get hop seeds or that book unless you go to a trader. So that's, uh, that's rough. Hey, Peter. Welcome in. Oh, here, that's what I need. Resource folders, man. They're the good stuff. Burning zombies. I don't know why I'm just like looking around the map again. <laughs> like, are you sure? Let me check my compass one more time. There's gotta be a traitor, man. Weird. My phone's doing stuff all on its own. I went to open it up and there is an application open that I haven't opened <laughs> in a long time. Hey, what are you doing, game? Or phone? That was weird. Oh, I had gone to a leather menu. I see. Got it. Um. Who is this for? Sorry, I'm like reading my stuff on, on stream. I'll have to check this out later. Okay, well that's confusing. Anyway, let's go about what we're doing. Make it for chat. Can't be checking my email on stream. <laughs> then I guess I can. It's just not a good idea. down. Makes my legs and crawl away at any moment. It might. But, <laughs> you don't like being with more legs than you? <laughs> That's just about everything. Oh, too many more. Let's see. Too many more legs. Gotcha. Seems like you're good with four, then. Oh, man. Oh, no, 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 we're good. But yeah, we need the resources, something Firos. Because apparently I'm going to go on a really long trip here in just a minute. And I think I'm I'm basically just going to leave all of my stuff, you know, I'm going to carry like, you know, food, water, basic supplies, you know, iron, wood, stone, plant fibers, but I think everything else I'm just going to leave. A duck attacked you in Georgia? It was braver than the guy's pit bull. <laughs> oh, come on, y'all. Anything more than four legs? What do you mean? <laughs> I 
and get some stamina back up. And I left that uh, coat inside. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just kind of like pack up some basic supplies. Unfortunately, food is an issue, isn't it? Because the zombies will come running at me. I also need plant fiber. <laughs> I can't make another axe with what I've got. Sorry, I can finish this boulder off though. Right. <laughs> you gotta take that money and run, Fizzle. And this grass is dodgy. <laughs> it keeps moving about. <laughs> Nothing to do with my aim, I assure you. Alright. Um, yeah, I probably should just punch some grass for a second. We can go grab that airdrop, though. That'll be helpful. Potentially. <laughs> we gotta watch it though. Burners and dogs will uh, eat us <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> oh, there we go. Dude is, I'm gonna run out of stamina. He's not, he's not faster than you, but it's like basically the same speed, and so he can catch you <laughs> in a sense. Oh, jump, jump, maniac. I can't hit him from that angle. Reet? <laughs> he's just like, to, what do you mean? The AI is so weird sometimes. He's like, ah, oh, you shot me! And he like runs 20 feet away from me. This is really dark. My apologies, everybody. What? It's like my cursor is directly on his face. How did that miss? <laughs> His AI is in a funky loop. Let's just read chat for a second until he figures it out. What do you mean, Miss Ehrman? I have no choice. This is all I have. <laughs> this is it. If I had guns, I would absolutely be using them. Making you second guess, Dex. <laughs> uh, 
So weird. Oh, oh yeah, I guess we're gonna just like day three. This is all we got. But yeah, I am. Uh, I am not a fan of having to do this <laughs> with a bow right now. <laughs> Low skills, no goods. It's a rough day. Our bow is toast, though. We're about to make a super good bow in a second, though. Cause I'm gonna make 144 arrows and then new club, new bow. All right, what do we need? Oh, I got resource boulders right here. Why was I way over there in the burnt forest? I didn't know chickens could climb trees. Look at this dude go! Look at him go! <laughs> what are you doing, chicken? What's the yellow marker on the map? Uh, oh, it's uh, it's my airdrop. Look at this dude. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Mermaid. The hello bits. And the hello back bits from Elix. Thank you very much. Both of y'all. I don't know how to deal with this chicken right now. I guess that's a way to do it. So close to three watermelons. Oh, for the uh, the slot machine there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that chicken was getting down. <laughs> yeah. What series was Nugget from, anyway? I forget. This is a good. This is a good chicken. Uh-oh. We got a bit of a hole in the world over there. It's not very good. <laughs> We're actually eating a chicken sandwich. No! Not nugget. <laughs> yeah. He'll never recover from that trauma. But yeah, I do need to go. Oh, he's from Hardworlder? Oh, word. I do need to go. Uh... What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, get my airdrop. I need to go do that. And I'm kind of debating, like, I might make a forge before I leave here and convert all of my iron. <sighs> I don't know. Do I just make it all into scrap iron? Just pump it out of the forge? Because that'll give me a nice stack of iron to take with me. They give you 5,000 chips for your first time visiting. <laughs> You've almost burned them up. They just need to get you started, Fizzle. You'll keep coming back. They always come back. Yeah, buddy. Level 159 on that bow. Oh, this thing we can toss that. Come on, game. We can toss that out. Make a new one. Like so. Um, before we scrap this bow, though, we gotta take our arrow out. Every arrow counts. <laughs> so each of these raw iron is five iron that you can get back for it. I seriously think I'm just going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave almost everything in this chest here. 
we gotta find something. We gotta find some town. Uh, let me grab that. That. Are you kidding me? We got another wandering horde. Come on, game. This is actually pretty bad. <laughs> and this zombie is dumb, so he's actually he's probably super smart. Look at him. Breaking in here. Oop, this is really bad. This dude hits super, super hard. If he gets in here, I'm dead. <laughs> We're just gonna be, yeah, he's gonna tear that fridge in half. Super smart zombies. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Come on. What do you mean I can't place it there? Game. Don't mess with me. This is super weird, though. He's like hitting everything except for what he needs to hit to get to me. going on with this guy oh did you see that <laughs> she's like 47 points of damage to me with one swing i don't even know how to deal with this bad zombie ai does not help Like, how do you even deal with that? That's why I didn't want to be in this house when they showed up. I knew if uh, Wandering Horde showed up while I was in this house, it'd be a really bad thing. And I was not wrong. Just not sure how to deal with this bad AI on this. Come on, zombie! What? What? Oh, come on. Hit him in the chest, that's no good. I don't even know how that missed. There's no space between his head and the top of the door, but I ma managed to find it. Get out of here. Alright, let's spin some of these points up real quick. Um, I cannot do that. My athletics is still low. So I'm going to put a point into Pummel Pete because that may save my life. Man. Rest of these folks are running around the wrong side of the building. I can't believe that dude like took half my health with one swing. Oh, there's another one. What? What is wrong with these zombies? Come on, man. It's probably the best zombie AI you ever saw, though, because he's, like, tricking me into getting close to that edge so he can smack me once. Okay. 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 
Seven hit points. I almost ended this whole series. Or this whole uh, run through. I don't even know what to do about this. What do you do about this? Um, what do? How do? I'm so I could just like pop that in there real quick. It worked. Unfortunately, it made him change direction, but it did do damage to him. Whoa! Uh oh, ah! Uh. Boo! Ah! Boo! Boo! Get me out of here! <laughs> You giant maniac. These dudes hit like trucks, man. Like, I've spent like the last 15 minutes, like IRL, fighting two zombies. <laughs> what do you mean? Look at him, he's just like one shot in that stone. I know some of it's kind of damaged, but still, man. These are the scariest dudes in the game. Actually, that's not true. Lumberjacks, man. Alright, so he can two-shot 500 hit point stone block. He can ta apparently take like 500 headshots. Come on. Oh yeah, leave. Oh, he's dead. Hey, <sighs> look at that. Dude was just wrecking his boulder. Oh my goodness. Serious biz. Oh, sweet. There's so many resources to kill those two guys, and I got nothing for it. <laughs> GG game. Alright. Oh man, I need a stretch. <laughs> it's just like, that was intense. Oh my gosh. Shouldn't be this intense on day three. And that's the thing is like, we are going to be rapidly approaching day seven and I have zero defense or like even the resources to deal with a horde knight. Uh. I forgot the, uh, I need clay. I was like, oh, I got everything I can go ahead and get my forge made. I guess what I could do is, uh, well, is that even worth it? I was thinking, basically what I was thinking is I could make iron arrows out of all that iron I'm about to take. It would give me some really rocking weapons if I made a ton of those. Um, let me grab a shovel real quick. Man, that was intense. But like this, I don't even want to take this with me, but I have to take something with me, though.
him actually standing on clay. But I don't want uh, I don't want it to be right next to the house I'm in. There's a cave right here. <laughs> Do I have a torch? see anybody. Can I do that? <laughs> the game is like, nope, you cannot. Alright. You can stick them to trees. You just can't uh, stick them to boulders, apparently. So my apologies that it's uh, wicked dark now. I just wasted my only torch. Medinets! Yo yo! Welcome in. Uh, and. I mean, they were okay, <laughs> I guess. I hope they're uh, good for you. It's just. I don't know. It's kind of a weird question for me, because I don't. I don't celebrate holidays. Um. So, like, I don't want to be here and be like, oh yeah, it was a great time. Yeah, like. You know, I don't know. Friends and gifts and things or whatever, I don't do it. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, New Year's was Thursday, so it was a nice Thursday. Uh, Christmas, whatever day that was, it was a nice day, I'd imagine. <laughs> but yeah, I do hope that uh, you had a fabulous New Year's and Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I'm not sure how to uh, respond to that question sometimes, because, yeah. I don't. <laughs> celebrate. I will celebrate finding a town on this map. That's what I'll celebrate. <laughs> oh, we got plenty of clay. Let's get out of here. Doesn't have to be holidays to celebrate? Word. Alright. Right. Let's crouch here. You did the classic 30 plus year old thing of massively regretting drug consumption. You know, for more, more feral than seven days. <laughs> that's some fierce business, that's for sure. I mean, I could make a knife as well. Like, I could convert some of this iron into forged iron. Because I'm have like a thousand iron after that. Plus that. And that. And that. And that. Uh, brass is not coming with me. Bullet casings. That can be trashed. I'm not taking any coal, nitrate, paper, plastic, glue. <laughs> I will take this one antibiotic, and the coat and shorts may actually save my life, so those will probably come with me. Uh, animal fat, I'm going to leave the oil, grain alcohol. Man, I wish I didn't have to leave the... Uh, do I leave the food? I don't know. I don't know. I think she's a 15-year veteran. Are you kidding me? We have more zombies? What? Like, literally, I just spent like 20 minutes fighting two zombies. What are you doing to me? Get out of here. Well, I didn't even have time to make a forge, <laughs> and I've already got more zombies. Uh, get away from my door, lady. They probably made me a good club. I can do a, uh, we could do a barbed club. I'm not sure how bleed damage works on zombies, but it does in this game. Okay. <laughs> My pro standards.
Oh, come on, stop moving around. Dude's like sliding all over the place. Super hard to hit that shot. <laughs> All right, you know what? You just sort that out. I got stuff to do. Okay, I do have the iron. I guess we might as well. I can make a few pretty good items for myself. That needs to come with me for sure. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. That body just disappeared. She was in the doorway. Gotta love day four. I know, right? Yeah, this is actually the, what, the fourth time I've started this game in two days. <laughs> Decided to do is my first time doing permadeath series um, on nightmare settings. Well, actually, it's my first time doing either of those things. Um, but yeah, so it's permadeath nightmare. Um, yesterday, I was on the permadeath seed, and I got, I spawned on it three times, so I was starting to get too much map knowledge. I felt, and so this time I did permadeath two, right, and put number two after it. The issue that I've noticed with this is apparently there are no traders on the map. This whole journey to settlement thing, uh, I looked all over the map. There are no traders. Um, and so far, I have yet to even see a single city. Right. So this is where we've traveled. Not like a whole lot of traveling going down. But I do have distant terrain turned on. And I did not see any cities, you know, in the surrounding area where I was. And that is two firsts for me <laughs> on that. But yeah, as it is, um, yesterday I just got totally wrecked. <laughs> we made it to day five, and I was really excited about that. And then I just got overconfident. Like, I was in a town, I had just gotten, like, four wrenches out of the uh, motel. I had two mining helmets, I had, yeah, like I said, four wrenches. Uh, they weren't very good, but it was enough to kind of get what I needed. I was starting to get all my supplies going. I was like, yeah, this is going to be a really good playthrough. And then just absolutely got wrecked. <laughs> there was a traitor right by that town. It was a good time. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but, um... Let's see, what do we got here? Actually, I'm going to defend myself real quick. I need to hop up and take a, a short break. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That should be good. <laughs> I bet if I put this here, though, they won't be able to see through that. I should have done this. They can't see through glass, but I don't know if they can see through broken blocks like that. Alright, cool. Well, while that is doing its thing, uh, just kind of smelting all that stuff down, I think I am going to make forged iron, and then I'm going to make a barbed club, uh, and a hunting knife, um, who knows, maybe make a backup barbed club. <laughs> but, uh, oh, iron arrowheads. So which means I need to go gather some feather up feathers up so i'm gonna try to like gear myself out as best i can and then we're taking off i have got to find a city of some sort but like the thing i'm most bummed about is we will never have uh beer we'll never have the ability to make beer on this uh on this map because if there are no traders we get no hop seed we get no tasting and brewing book like there's a few other things that you can't get anywhere else but that's the big one right <laughs> without the ability to make your own beer it is going to be a rough day so 
search hardcore for that. Peter. I know, right? I'm going to have to hit every uh, machine that I find. Every uh, vending machine, I guess. I'll still be able to find dukes. So I can probably buy them from vending machines, which do spawn their loot over and over. So I'll just have to pay for them like that. Um, but I have to find a town. We have got to find a town or a four-way or something. Right now, like I said, I've yet to see anything on the map. We just sprint for the hub, right? Yeah, let's go to the hub city. Primadeath. Day five. Let's go. I mean, day four. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, give me just a few minutes and I will be right back. And hopefully uh, without having a screamer right outside my door. <laughs> see you in a bit. Ah, there we go. Alrighty, I am back. Pick myself up a bit of a snack. Which I'll probably munch on here in a bit. Hello? 
Okay. That was super weird. My microphone got confused. <laughs> it muted, then unmuted. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? Ah, thank you very much, Sorvax. Sun's going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet. Nutty nuts. Oh, we got calamari tempura, miso soup, teriyaki chicken skewers, and sake in the lobby. We're good. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm deep sea magic. Word. Awesome. Cool. Good stuff going down all through chat. There we go. All right, all caught up. All right, what do we got going on here? All right, canned food is going to be extremely valuable for this trip. <laughs> Need stuff that isn't gonna funk me up. This is the extent of our food supply. Now water, I will be filling all of these jars before I take off. For right now, let's drop those off. I'm going to go try to grab my airdrop. I see a 47 feathers. Okay. Actually, mm, I'll take that just in case. We're going to make a new bow. We're going to drop that arrow real quick. I'm not drop the arrow and get it out of there. Yeah, so that's good. All right. All right. I locked myself in, didn't I? <laughs> we can do something about that. Nah, we're just supposed to open. Let's go. We're about to get another airdrop come in. Let's hope that thing airdrop brings us in like, I don't know, an AK-47 and like 500 <laughs> 760 rounds. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not going to find that in an airdrop. I might actually find a gun, though. I do find that from time to time. <sighs> I'm not excited about that. Burning zombies over there, crackling away. Crackling and cackling. Laughing it up. Trying to burn me down. This makes me so nervous. There's a campsite. Rabbit! Careful, rabbit. All kinds of foul beasties out here. A bunch of people at that POI. There's a burning zombie right in front of me. I wish I could check that guy right there though. We can have good stuff. Oh jeez. This is not gonna work. Did I bring my barbed wire? Come on, stand up. 
Stand up, brother. Oh, I'm dead. Get out of here. Come on. I can't see. <laughs> Thought I was toast, man. Well, uh, these seem to be going straight through the zombie, which is rather unfortunate. I kind of need them to hit the zombie. Be a bit more useful to me, I would imagine. Hit detection, please. All right, we're toast. We are toast. Get out of here! No! No! Uh, do that. Drink the beer. Drink the beer. Yeah. Get out of here. Get. Go 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 go. Make it. Oh no! I'm on my own barber. Get me out of here. No. Ah! Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. My apologies. Okay, they lost their legs. Whew. Oh my gosh, I, I used like all my med kits. I'm glad I had them. <laughs> my goodness. <sighs> oh man. Uh, maybe we leave that airdrop where it is. I did not expect these ladies to show up. What is she stuck on? Man, they hit so hard. Everybody hits so hard. You can breathe now? I can. I'm still trying to catch up. <laughs> Look at this level 158 club. There's like nothing to these folks. Still take like 15 headshots. <sighs> Man, I am uh, I'm stressed out after that. <laughs> oh, that's too much. I'm glad I had that beer though. That beer saved my life. I'm awake, <laughs> if that matters for anything. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Helix. Thank you very much. Coming in with that sub hype. Word up. There is something at the bottom of the screen for Twitch. I'm not even sure what that is. It's just kind of like this purple box bouncing up and down. <laughs> but thank you very much. That is uh, extremely appreciated. Very kind of you. I shouldn't waste my arrows. We do have all these stone ones, but oh jeez. Uh, yeah, that is uh, a rockin'. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. <laughs> I knew he was gonna turn at some point. And Mr. Mermaid coming in with those bits as well. Thank you very much. The love and the hype around here is amazing, as always. Whew, my goodness. I want that airdrop though. <laughs> it's gonna get me killed. Yeah, that dude's just hanging out right there. Can we go around though? Can we kind of like do a roundabout? Another thing I can do. Uh, I think it's just the crawler and the burner over there. Another thing I can do though is. Uh, I don't even remember what I was going to say anymore. <laughs> I'm all like just messed up here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Mermaid. Some more that, that pay to slay program coming through. But yeah, I should be... Yep, okay, yeah, yeah. Another thing I can do is check these for potential wrenches. Check the toilets for potential pistols. <laughs> I've only got 53 hit points. That's really bad. I 
Oh, where's that grain alcohol? Oh, did I leave it? Oh, I should have taken that with me. Airdrop number two. <laughs> All right, hopefully we can go pick both of these up. Y'all know if a dog sees me, it's over, right? Like, <laughs> like game over. And there are so many burning zombies. What I should have done is, uh, I really should have focused on making a bit of leather armor with that stuff I got. Oh, he makes how many more bits as well? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I love Missy Mermaid and uh, <laughs> Fizzle's conversations about food. It's always a good time. Better run. No, not from me. Run run to safety, brother. Where is this thing? Oh. One, two, three. We just had a wandering... Four. We just had a wandering horde spawn in. Uh, that is extra bad. Extra, extra not fun. They are going to be coming straight from the face. Let's see if we can't try something real quick. Did I lose them? Uh, hello? You saw all those ladies spawn in, yeah? Literally immune to a false sense of security is what they're doing. It's a bad idea, shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway, let's go. Thank you very much for this, this, this mermaid. Ah, why did they stop right there? I shouldn't have been their termination point. That was too close. be interesting. His pattern is awful for trying to do this. Lucky. I need him to be stunned so I can get that three times. So we're gonna be in a bit of trouble here. Let's do this. Indeed, y'all. Oh my goodness, I'm getting wrecked. Ugh. That's such a weird pattern. There are those ladies. What is this? Alright, now now that they're stacking up, we might be able to have a bit more freedom on this. I still got bad aim, but that's alright. Alright, let me, let me crouch to make sure I'm not moving too much here. See, even if they break those frames, I'm safe because it's attached to the wall here. I'm being as careful as I can. There's just a <laughs> wandering horde spawning on me. No good. We have 92 arrows. Okay, we should be fine. What? I don't know how that missed, but all right. Oh no, how did they hit this frame underneath my feet? What do you mean? Oh 
man, this is a mess. Alright, um, she's probably going to be the easiest to hit, I would imagine. Kill them before they scream. But luckily, we don't have any screamers out here. That would have been... Man, we ought to have been toast if that was the case. Alright, one down. Two down. Issue is, we should have more zombies spawning in from that horde now. What are y'all doing? Disco lady, chill out. You gotta calm down, disco lady. I think she just smacked him. That's not who I was telling to calm down, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, I'm losing my loot. Loot bodies before they get destroyed. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not missing out on much, I guess. Nope. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Do all this stuff, I get a sham sandwich. One from each of these folks. I get two sham sandwiches. <laughs> okay. Maybe we didn't get any additional zombies spawning in. I do have the spawn rate on medium though, and I'm I am used to playing with it on very high. So maybe they don't send us, like, waves of zombies. Maybe it's just, like, one group that spawns it for wandering hordes. But, um, I can say this with no certainty. <laughs> I have no idea. Whew. That scared me. <laughs> See all four of those zombies spawn in? I'm low on health as well. I really should use one of those bandages, but I just don't have very many of them. Oh! I didn't even realize I had that. Where did that? Give me that stun resistance. Maybe immunity. I don't know if the pills give you any immunity like the uh, uh, beer does. Uh, maybe. All right, what do we got? Do we got stuff? All right, frames. Good. Things go south. <laughs> we're running and we're throwing some frames down. So what? <laughs> I'm sorry, Fizzle. That sounds uh really irritating. <laughs> I should be making that coffee though. Let me take this coffee. Cause that'll give me like stamina. Well, it's stamina and warmth, and that may not work out. <laughs> Someone took them out, and now they're upset about it. It's like, yeah, well, I mean, you're trolling super hard in a video game. You expect people not to mess with you for it? Oh, this is a bad spot. This is not actually connected to anything. What we do is that and that, so now if they break that stack, I still will not fall. And apparently, these guys have no idea what they're doing. They just ran and got themselves stuck inside the building. GG. Alright, they're all gonna do that. <laughs> all right, you bunch of nubs, what are you doing? All three of them ran and got themselves stuck inside the building. But I'm literally just standing out here in the open. Come on, guys. You gotta be better than that. We're out in the burnt forest. We gotta, we gotta shed some clothes here. Oh, don't I have a pair of shorts? I left them in the base. Alright, I'm not sure what to do about this now. And now all three of them are just sat there. 
If you break my airdrop, dude, I'm gonna be salty. You have no idea how much salt <laughs> will pour from me if you break that airdrop. Alright. We got like... Well, we got like six zombies in there now? What are y'all doing? And this dude just gave up. Like, nah, it ain't worth it. I don't even know what to do. This is such an awkward position to be in. Like, these zombies are just dumb. <laughs> They're on the wrong side of the wall. Yeah, they're all, like, extra dumb. And there he goes, right around the other side of the wall. What? What is going on? I'm so confused right now. It's like ultra confused right now. I mean, I guess I just stand here. Oh, now you want to figure it out, eh? Well, go grab your friends. <laughs> this dude's nearly got it sorted, though. I'm just over here needlessly breaking stuff. All I wanted to do is come pick up an airdrop. It has now taken me like 12 in-game hours to come pick up an airdrop. Form, I guess. Oh, my goodness. All right, one down. My apologies, I know I'm missing chat right now. deal with this now. Come on, man. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna catch up on chat, because this dude is not gonna be cooperative for a while. Uh, okay. God. That airdrop gets worth more with every container. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, now. nuclear radiation at that point. What is going on? What is going on? What are you doing? How is it hopping on top of a sink going to help you, brother? Oh, 
Ugh, my goodness. That was nonsense. <laughs> Search. I already searched all this stuff, didn't I? Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness, what do we got? Make sure we have space for this before I try to open it. <laughs> you kidding me? That's amazing. I mean, other than the slugs, that's, like, amazing. <laughs> Might as well read it for the gun uh, smithing. Auger schematic, exploding crossbow bolts, spike club. I guess we're making a spike club before we take off. I was going to make a barbed club, but... GG, game. All right. Okay. And I'm like stressed out here. <laughs> this this style of gameplay is no joke. I need feathers for days though. I wanna make a ton of arrows before I take off. What is this? That's what I thought it's a cave. Or it kind of looks like one. It might not be, though. Anyway, we're not going to go explore that for sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah, it's like I can't... I don't have an auger, but that club is going to be super handy. I already have the uh, crossbow schematic. <sighs> Now I got the exploding bolts for it as well. If I had the materials, I would absolutely make some of those before I leave. But I do not. Oh, come on, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. How many? Come on. Come on. Game, what just happened? Where did all those frames go? Game, what are you doing to me? It made all my frames like invisible. Uh, what are you doing? Get out of here. Like my frames are all invisible and above me. That just like, uh, that just totally wrecked everything. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me, game. I'm gonna die to that? I'm gonna die to a bug? It's because of the, oh, it's because of the, the blinds. Oh man, and now we have a wandering horde. What do you mean? <laughs> this is the most nonsense ever. Alright, issue. That piece of cloth right there, that blind, nearly just wrecked my day. And what was weird is it put the frames above my head so when I tried to jump, I was just bouncing off of them. My goodness, it's like every, I mean, I feel like, you know, I'm, I don't know. It feels like I'm kind of doing this <laughs> for additional excitement and content, but I'm not. <laughs> like every time I run into a zombie, it's like a life or death situation here. I 
I swear we're not throwing for content. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's all kind of intense. But I will have to be much more careful about that from now on. Uh, I did not realize there were blinds on that. And those blinds only take up... Well, they take up the block that I was trying to occupy with my frames. I'd rather not use arrows on this crawler, but I don't have a choice, I don't think. Whew. Oh my goodness. It's, it's all so intense. Ah, that was the nurse that just got destroyed. That was the one I wanted the most out of all of these guys. I need bandages, something fierce. That is my last bandage. Potato! Oh, damn it! <sighs> what do you mean? I'm glad y'all are crawlers. We found a potato. I don't know how much good that's gonna do us. But that's coming with us on the journey. That's exceedingly valuable. Man, we gotta get some good tools here. Weapons. Sorry it's so dark. I uh, do not have a torch on me at the moment. I tried to stick it to a resource boulder and it just fell off and broke. Come on, man. I'm gonna starve to death by the time I can get home. Oh my gosh. This is dumb. Bandage heals you. <laughs> yeah, no, man. It's the last bandage that I've got. But honestly, you know, if I get hit again, I'm probably just dead anyway. What I'm trying to do is save that bandage so I can go home and eat some food, which will give me my hit points back. And then if I get hit by somebody and I'm bleeding out, I can actually, like, save my life from a bleed out with it. Right now. Oh, whatever. If I get hit right now, though, I'm just dead. Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm on my barbed wire. You gotta be kidding me. I didn't even get that kill, though. Okay. We are thirsty beyond belief. Oh yeah, yeah, we got we do have some cloth to use, that's for sure. I have cloth for days. Those will stop a bleed out. Truth spot. <sighs> okay. Get me out of here. should hopefully be enough. But our club is dust here. Any arrows we got? Not enough? Got it. Okay. Let's see if we can't do this. Right, do I have any more painkillers? I thought I had used them all. Yeah, I did. I might have some more back at the base. I say base, but it's just like an empty house. <laughs> I call everything a base in this game. I wish I could see how deep this is. Like I said, my apologies for the uh, darkness, everybody. <laughs> Do 
do not have a way. Nope. Yeah, we got animal fat now. Word. Let's go ahead and mix some of those up. There we go. <laughs> oh no, it's all good. It's all good. Squad? What? There we go. Now we can see a little bit. I am going to start losing wellness here in just a second due to dehydration. Um, I don't want to drink uh, murky water though. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I already hear him. I already hear him. Deer, go get him for me. Hear me. Goldenrod, indeed. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember if I actually have any goldenrod over at the place. It's easy to pick up. Was all that going on in the casino there, Fizzle? Right, we're going to take a uh, slow swim. Stop sprinting, dude. <laughs> Hey, we made it till day five, though. All right. That's as far as we made it yesterday. My goodness. No. Yeah, I guess we risk it. There it is. First time. The first thing we drink. <laughs> the symbol for it is funny. <laughs> All right, well... We are going to poo ourselves to death. <laughs> Man, this thing is deep. Day five milestone. <laughs> Thank you very much. Our oxygen. Now we are not going down very quickly because we are out of the stamina. Alright, I'm going back up to the surface. I just need to get my stamina out so I can make this. Just gonna hang out here for a minute, bobbing up and down a bit. <laughs> what? Fizzle, did you... Is that intentional? Did you add an extra zero? My goodness. Fizzle. My goodness, Fizzle. You maniac. Thank you. <laughs> that is some intense business. Oh, wow. You're a legend, brother. <laughs> Thank you very much for the 1,000 bits. My goodness. Oh, I'm just sitting here bobbing up and down. I got to get get that airdrop. <gasps> I can't see it anymore. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I, like, bobbed away from it. And I was like, no, where'd it go? I don't know, Fizzle! Thank you so much. Go, go, go! Come on! We're gonna... Actually, we might not make this. No, we're not gonna make this. We just died. I have to use this bandage. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Get out of the water! Get out of the water, brother! Go! 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 <gasps> Oh, you see my hit points? Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot. Don't ever let me do stuff like that. You s what? No! No! That was the edge of the map! 
That was the edge of the map. I didn't see it. I was like, uh, I was just trying to get out of the water. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, jeez. I didn't realize it was right there. I was just trying to make my way back up and into the map, or uh, back the other way. I turned around and started heading north, and I needed to go south, something fierce. I didn't realize that box was, like, on the line. <sighs> oh, man, that radiation is no joke. I made it. I actually, like, I actually made it. I, like saved it from the oxygen. I had the hit points going and then I ran right into that radiation and then there's just no hope there That stuff would just eat your face Oh, I can't believe it. We tried so hard. We did so much oh, Day five That seems to be our limit, but this map Oh, there's the traitor. Why didn't that show up last time? Look, now I can see the traitor marker. Were we just so far away that it didn't show up? So that's our nearest traitor from where I put my campfire down. It was over by the hub city. Whew. Rip. Ah, oh, man. It burns. <laughs> It burns it. <laughs> I can't believe I died to the radiation. What a nub. Oh my gosh. It hurts. <laughs> Thank you very much, Missy Mermaid. <laughs> oh. Alright, I'm not doing that map again. That was rough. <laughs> We're starting another one though. That was that was intense. That was a really good five days. I think I I, I learned a lot in those five days. It seems like. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just like you know I've played this game a ton and like I've never had a permadeath setup before, right? Like I've always been like you know I die whatever pick up your stuff let's go. Like, I've played on, like, all the different, you know, I've played on up to insane difficulty, always run settings, like, all kinds of stuff. And I've just never done permadeath. Man, my, my heart is still, like, it's still beating super hard right now. <laughs> oh, man, what do we got here? Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave everything as it is. Um, this is really the only thing I changed was loot respawn time. Uh, down from 30 days to 5. Whew. Oh my gosh. My my heart is like super pounding right now. <laughs> Alright, we're going to change the map. That map was rough. Okay. Alright, let me kind of catch up with the uh, chat for a second. To the snowberry diet only? No, I'm good. But yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Mermaid. And Fizzle, yet again. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Is it daylight to 12 hours? Well, I mean, it's always run, so... Uh, yeah, daytime, nighttime doesn't really matter. Whew. Okay. Oh, man, I am so salty about that. I did so good. It was like three hours. This is exactly what happened yesterday. Three hours ish into the the playthrough, and I get wrecked. Man, we we overcame so many battles there, and the those airdrops, man. I had the auger schematic, the uh, exploding crossbow bolts. I got the crossbow schematic earlier, and I had just gotten the spiked club schematic. And I had forged iron making in my forge. 
It's like I could have just like geared myself out. I was gonna make a bunch of iron arrowheads. I just had like iron arrows, a spike club. I wouldn't have made the crossbow because I wouldn't have been able to make exploding crossbow bolts just yet. But man, don't get cocky. What do you mean? I was running. I was hiding. <laughs> I lost my sense of direction and ran straight into that radiation. <laughs> oh, yeah, in indeed, Lord Rex. And that's like, that's the main thing for me is uh, this is a totally different style, right? Super different style of play for me. Well, I didn't spawn in the wasteland. Why is this spawn familiar to me? That's really weird. I like, I know, anyway, it's kind of one of those weird things. We are in the burnt forest super hard right now. <laughs> You're here for the next death. <laughs> Less visibility, I can see that, I guess. Nutty nuts. Respawn bits. All right, this is a terrible place to spawn. <laughs> This is awful. Burning zombies and uh, dogs immediately. Well, potentially dogs. I don't see them super often out here. Oof. Woo, burn forest. Don't be cheering for that. More Max. Come on, mate. Oh, Mr. Mermy. Coming over those bits as well. Yeah, the last spawn was nice. They put me right by a road. I was in the, uh... Huh. I was in the, uh, Maple Forest. It was super, super nice. Um, yeah, there was just, like, no cities on that side of the map. There may have been some on the south side, I would imagine. Man, but there is nothing out here. One thing we is cool though is these little busted up houses we might actually get some goods out of. Let's see, cookies tonight, beef jerky tomorrow. <laughs> Cinnamon rolls the day after. My goodness, Bozy, you've got it all planned out. <laughs> Tin cans. Whew, all right, let's do it again. Not a whole lot of grass to be punching, huh? Plant fiber a little scarce out here. Max difficulty, but with classic? Oh, where they uh, walk during the day, run at night? Uh, yes. All right, well, this is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not bad, not bad. I'll like, punch up a bunch of this real quick. Really? <laughs> the hardest grass in the world to be hit. I need to stop running around so much they're going to spawn some friends in on me. Okay, that is a whole bunch of junk I don't need. Not so much. Get out of here. Well, let's say we find a trader. You know, we may want to trade some of that stuff off. Let's do that, some of that. Go ahead and craft this to get things rolling. How much plant fiber do we have? Oh, cool. We have enough to make all our clothes as well. Oh, yeah. I forget. Um, <laughs> these things take so long to craft. Alright, let me catch up on chat for a second. 
It's a version of Cinnamon. Oh, okay. Very spongy. White stars and bears are basically death. Yeah. Ouch. Oh, classic day only walk? Oh, okay. Do the uh, ferals, or like the whites, do they still sprint? Generally, they sprint no matter what. I can wait on that. I'll be taking all that stuff off quick. And that looks like wasteland. So we have like burnt forest right by wasteland, which is going to be rough. Where are we at? Boop. Let's see. Oh, we're super far north. Uh, okay. Game. <laughs> Oops, went right by it. Come on, game. That's going to be our hub. And nowhere that I want to be, that's for sure. <clears throat> I think my probably my favorite spawn is the desert. Generally not a huge fan of the burnt forest because everything enemy wise that spawns out here is faster than I am. You cannot outrun burning zombies or dogs. Craft. What? I'm currently like holding all of those items you just told me to craft all right i guess i made them too soon get out of here i didn't even realize that was an issue right, i guess we'll craft another set <laughs> that's kind of silly <clears throat> Alpha 19 white walk? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, on console we generally refer to them as ferals, because they're the only ones for that. <laughs> but uh, we do have, like, feral settings on this, but I know they have feral zombies on there, and, like, irradiated zombies and all that stuff on PC. But mostly, like, for console, if, uh, if someone says a feral, they're just talking about... Uh, the whites. I recraft all of these. <laughs> Wait to put them on this time, maybe. Ah, oh, goodness. I was so hyped about that playthrough, or that that uh, game. Like I thought we were gonna do really well, make it all the way through. You know, maybe not all the way through, but things were starting to come together. I am indeed. And so, like, yeah, feral on console more so means that, like, they can sense you through objects, right? Um, it's like they have their walk and run settings or whatever, but those are separate from whether they're feral or not on console. Honestly, super surprised I haven't even heard a burning zombie yet. 
wonder if there's like a uh, a buffer. Like if you get a little bit of time maybe before they start spawning in on you. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Might as well go ahead and uh, craft of that real quick. Grab up some of these. Chicken! Billion dollar club? Oh. Huh. I'm not sure what that is. Can I find one of those clubs? No. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, we've got a bit of stone. So let's do this. Um, I mean, I, I don't know why I always go to the weapons menu, because arrows and the bow and everything are in the other menu as well. Alright. Let's go start taking a peek at the world. Look at those clouds, though. That's one thing I really like about the game, is like the sky and clouds and stuff like that are super cool. No crafting, no storage, and you're only allowed to use a POI. Huh. Stay there once a night. Interesting. Alright, definitely parked right next to a wasteland. I want out of here as quick as humanly possible. Man, there's like Death Valley in here. It's all burnt forest. Only thing I see so far is burnt forest and wasteland. And that was another thing is uh, I haven't spawned in wasteland biome basically since 2017 in our last update. Um, but yeah, somebody the other day was saying that it's still a possibility. Oop, there they are. There go my uh, my friends spawning in. Yeah, and with all of the games that I've just started, I still haven't spawned in Wasteland. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Man, I am not hyped about this at all. That's bad. <laughs> I gotta get out of here, man. It's gonna be a really short run at this. If I don't get out of here. Oh, you nub, you nub, you nub, you nub, 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 get out of here. Uh, oh, jeez, what am I doing? Frames, brother. You just need some wooden frames. Come on. This is going to save your life here in just a second. I used all the wood I had. Bad idea. <laughs> just hit on this tree for a second. Granted, it is usually placed on PC. The what? Sorry. Get tools and weapons more often. Hmm. Deer. Probably kind of set myself up a little bit here. Let's do that. Let's do that. And we can throw those down there. Ah. Yeah, yeah. PC definitely getting those updates. Console version will not be updated. Like the this game right here uh, will not be updated. There is potential, you know, in the future, at some point, the Fun Pimps may port over a finished version of the game, right? But they're not going to do anything until they're done with PC, which makes absolute sense. Um, because they're PC game developers. <laughs> they never intended to make a console version of the game. 
So it may come at some point, but for the foreseeable future, this is what we've got. It's like they're not even done with the PC version. Like they're, uh, and like I said, until that happens, there is no hope for console updates. But I was glad that they managed to get the rights to their own game back from Telltale after long and arduous legal battles. Um, I just wish the console community would chill out. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I guess next gen consoles are already out. Come on, man. I dare you. Come on. Squish those legs up, brother. Ugh, I walk too slow. Hey, -ya. <laughs> come on. Give you some free loops. Yeah, buddy. Get over here. Just be easier to port full version rather than like five. Exactly. Yeah, and that's why it's like, you know, console and PC are so different right now. It's like they're not even the same game anymore. Like this is no longer compatible with what's going on on PC. Ooh, you almost got my toes. Um, and that's what. See, I just. That's what console players need to realize. We don't need, we can't get the updates, you know? It's like, it's not compatible, they just have to remake the whole game, but why would they remake the whole game if they're gonna have to remake it again when they release it, you know? Like once they go gold, yeah, potential for us to get something, but that's it. <laughs> Kind of a waste of an arrow, but we'll see if we can do this. Man, he is going the distance. Oh, a little short. Ah, okay, well, apparently that was long enough for him to port back up here for me. Uh, where'd he go? There he is. And see, that's the thing. <laughs> they don't even leave corpse blocks on PC anymore. And that freed up a ton of resources for your system, right? Because, uh, like, the game having to, like, spawn in and keep track of all those corpse blocks, especially on Horde Knights, uh, really, really, especially on PC, because of uh, the massive numbers of zombies that you can get. Um, what is that? There's a huge flat area right there. Might just be kind of the way the terrain's loading in, but... Um, but yeah, the removal of corpse blocks, from everything I've heard, was a massive boon to the game and how it ran. The kill 1000 players trophy? Yeah, last I, I think on console for like the highest challenge for that, it's like 2500 on, on here. And I'm not interested in that, I don't do PvP. Okay, let's take a quick peek here. We are in a we are in kind of a bad way here. So we got a road that goes that way. We have a road that goes that way. We are just all kind of in this burned forest. I gotta get out, man. Yeah, and it's like there's no way. I'm just not interested. I was like, I don't really do PvP anyway. And there's absolutely no way I'm going to sit here and try to farm 2,500 kills. I'm absolutely fine with that being the only challenge I don't get on this game. Okay. Come on, man. Let me up the hill. The most difficult hill hopping I've ever had to do. Okay, this is a weird placement. Like, this is super flat up here, which is odd. Watch, this map is going to be all burnt forests and wasteland. <laughs> yeah, like I said, in general I just kind of wish that console players would just chill out. Just play the game, man. 
there's a ton of good stuff to be done in here. <clears throat> I know we're missing, or not missing, you know, we just don't have, like, all of the cool upgrades and, like, you know, no turrets or electricity. Well, we have very basic electricity. You put a light on a wall and turn it on, there's your electricity. Um, but, yeah, no weapon mods or anything like that, so... It's like, yeah, they've added a lot of really awesome stuff in the game. But, I don't know, I've put like 4,000 hours into this game and I'm still interested in playing more. PvP is basically impossible. You crash or get kicked or, and blocked. Oh, wow. Yeah, that doesn't sound like fun. Is that a... Oh, for a second there, that looked like a camp game? Campfire. You gotta hold together, game. Oh, jeez. I shouldn't have run that way. Yeah, you saw me. Alright, well, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna die. Okay, if he would have ran off, I would have been pretty salty about that. <laughs> you good there, brother? I can't tell if he's ever going to move or not. Like, why is he standing back there? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> it's like, normally if I aim a little bit lower, I hit him right in the chest. A little bit higher and we miss. Every single, like... I don't know what's up with that. Every time I've loaded into this game, like started a new save file, my first kill has been a decapitation. I don't know why. Kind of a weird thing. It's missing mermaid bonuses, I guess. I am not chopping that zombie up for potential food. That's just nasty. Don't eat the zombie flesh. Cooked or not. Easy solution for dupes and or griefers. Oh, I see. Sorry, I missed the, yeah, blocking doesn't allow players back. Yeah. Yeah, and that was, like, one of the main reasons that I'm a huge solo player in this game. It's like I opened it up to viewers one time, and that lasted one stream, I think, one or two. And I was just like, nope. I was like, I mean, luckily I got to meet this dude named Handsome Danable, super rocking guy. Um, he's always welcome in my games, no matter what. But, you know, somebody else hopped in and immediately just killed Dan, <laughs> you know? And it spawned him on the other side of the map, and it was just like a huge hassle to kind of deal with it all. And ever since then, I was just like, no, I don't have time to play with people. Um, if it's somebody that I know, maybe, you know? Somebody I've had a chance to get to know and play with them or just, like, talk with them and chat. Hey, there's an underground bunker. Um, that's a possibility. But, you know, people coming in that I've never met before and they're like, Hey, can I join your game? No, absolutely not. <laughs> that should probably be some good loot in there. I want out of this burned forest, though, man. I just set myself on fire. Nope, nope. RNG's on my side for that one. Man, there are a bunch of these things. And one thing is nice is like these ones with the solid backs on them always have a brass faucet in there. So if you are in need of brass, you can just kind of like run around and scoop up a bunch of these. Hey, level 136 wrench, what do you mean? Plus RNG, I know, right? That wrench. That's a really good wrench, man. Find that first off. Hmm. I see that, yeah. Yeah, PvP is just... Yeah, it's just not my, my style. Definitely a co-op fella. Working together with folks and whatnot. 
But I can see the uh, the draw to it, you know. Everybody's got their own style of game they enjoy. Man, I've been really lucky so far. Not just running into a bunch of these. Look at all these buildings, though. Uh, but yeah, not running into a bunch of enemies here. Super lucky with all that. Three cooking pots! But yeah, if I get, uh, if I start overheating, I'm gonna throw that tank top on for sure. Oh, cans of food? Word. Canned food, best thing you can do, uh, when zombies can just smell you out. <laughs> it's gonna be a while before I can make, like, cornbread and blueberry pie and stuff. One of the first times you played PvP in seven days. Ah, oh, that's messed up. You should have known better. Well, I mean, like, you mean you jump in to play with some folks? Like, it'd be nice if they were reasonable about it. But if you were jumping into a PvP server, like, I guess. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh, don't freeze on the game, can't take it. I don't know why I've been digging, popping up on these tables. That's actually a really bad spot for me to be, so I'm gonna move. Because if they would have broken that underneath my feet, I would have just fallen. <laughs> There's nothing holding it up. Yeah, that's one of the things is like, I almost never make cloth armor. Actually, I don't know that I've ever made cloth armor. Might be a thing I should do though. I know it, it has insulation on this game, and that was the cool thing about PC is like you don't you don't get wrecked for uh, you know wearing clothes on PC. Like on console, <clears throat> if you're like freezing to death, it's better to be naked than to be wearing like shorts or something like that. And they did fix that on PC, which is nice. <clears throat> But I also saw that they're coming out with, like, armor sets, like, clothing and armor sets, which is really cool. Heard your shout out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely miss me. I don't know what's up. It's like, uh, my first kill every time I've started one of these has been a beheading. I don't know. Good times, I guess. Hey! A nice t-shirt. Hey! <laughs> we got cooking pots for days. Uh, I need one. <laughs> the rest will be turned into scrap iron. But let me go ahead and kind of sort myself a bit. Uh, 48. I have a jillion feathers. Yeah. For what we got going on right here. I mean, in early game, that's a lot to need. <laughs> I need some stone, though. I can sit here and like whack on that. That's concrete, I guess. Cloth armor doesn't insulate? I thought for sure it did. Oh, that's my only cloth? Okay. I'll check it here pretty before too long. I can scrap that t-shirt though, because I got that tank top. Actually, I'd probably rather scrap the tank top than the t-shirt. But... If I have the opportunity, I just want out of here. I want out of this biome. <laughs> Super bad. Oh, there's a resource boulder. I'm gonna go smack on that for a bit and get some stones. Oh, I wasn't your map. You turned to random. Your own. Wait. Your own TCM. I must have missed something. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! I don't know why I stood up. <laughs> Do 
do need another stone axe though. There we go. Ah, I see. I saw that movie as a child and it terrified me. <laughs> I went back and watched it as an adult and I was like, this thing is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was like it was bad funny like or funny bad i don't know it's not a very good movie <laughs> you can make dynamite yes some gunpowder and some plant fiber and a short iron pipe oh wait no those are pipe bombs uh yeah but you have dynamite and tnt they're pretty simple to make <laughs> Stamina is dust. <laughs> Got some of that revenge on the base here. Show up with a rocket launcher, man. All right. Man, it's nearly 2200, and I haven't even made it out of this place yet. We are getting some basic goodies though. Nine cooking pots? <laughs> I don't even have nine cooking pots already. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them. I need one for a campfire, and I'm sure they're not gonna be making a chemistry station anytime soon. <laughs> You swam into their base underneath them? Oh well. Oh wait, I missed part of that. Uh, they built too close to a fissure, and so that is underwater in there. Oh, okay. Interesting. Because they're kind of weak. I never actually use them. Mainly because, like, they will wreck the blocks around your base. So if I have my own horde defense or whatever, I'm not going to use a rocket launcher anywhere near it. I'll just use exploding crossbow bolts because they do, like, one block damage. <laughs> but tons of entity damage. I don't really see a point in using rocket launchers in this game. Kadee! How's it going? It's day one. <laughs> yeah, I uh, made it to day five again and then uh, kind of got turned around and ran into the rad zone. They dropped my airdrop like right on the edge and, uh, you know, came up out of the water, like almost drowned. I had the, you know, bandage going and everything. And I was like, all right, cool, we made it. And I swam right into the radiation and died. <laughs> oh, fail. I got to get out of here, man. All I've seen is wasteland. Or, I mean, uh, burnt forest. Have I seen any of the twisted tea memes? Uh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's just a crawler. I think I'll listen for those feet, though. Nope, no longer just a crawler. Oh. I 
Oh yeah, I forgot the zombies are really dumb. Oh, thank you very much for those uh, hello bits, Miss Mermaid. Oh, he's not dumb! I was reading! Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, uh, that might be it. I looked down at chat, and he ran around the corner. Oh, that was dumb. It was the same thing that happened last night, right? The first the first time I did it, I ran it all the way to, like, day five. And the second time, I just get, like, absolutely wrecked. Be safe in looking at chat, apparently. Ah, jeez. Well, that was a rough start. The only thing I ever saw on that map was Wasteland and Burnt Forest. <laughs> There's it. Risk it for the biscuit. Was a boss from your last jobs? <laughs> They're saying that. I've heard that before. They always got mad at you when you did it. Yeah, let's go for a better one, Indie Knitting Knife. Thank you very much. I'm gonna try the same seed. And just see if they'll put us in a better spot. Because now I'm interested to see what's up with that map. Oh yeah, what am I doing? Everything's good. Oh yeah, this is something I was talking about here. So like, they have the run and aggression as separate options. So like, the feral bit is dealing with like, whether they can send you through items and things like that on console. A little bit odd, but not bad. Oh my goodness. You're for that? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Indeed. Let's go! Oh, how's the, uh... How's that realm working out, Google? I know it's just like the the trial period or whatever, but it does seem like it would be interesting, kind of just having like a a world that's just always open, yeah. It's like if we could figure out a way to do that. Like I don't know if he would end up having it uh, hosted or whatever, but. It would be really cool if, uh, you know, we could work out a way to, like, we could all chip in, you know, like, one of us pays for it one month, and then, you know, another, somebody else pays for it the next month, and then he pays for it for a month, and then, you know, somebody else, you know, if we could do something like that, it's working out for you. <laughs> what? Why would me? Why wouldn't you like it? Huh. Okay. Hey! It was good. It was much better. There we go. Beautiful. Look. We've got the plains. We've got the pine forest. Beautiful. More wasteland over there, potentially. Actually, that might be plains. Where are we at? Oh, we're super far north. Wasn't that, weren't we pretty far north on the last one? Oh, but we're east. I think last time we were way west. Alright, so we know the west side of the map is not good. And even though I'm not going to go to the hub city, I always mark the thing. 
Oh, and that's another thing. There is no Hub City on PC anymore, is there? Oops. Come on. Alright, but this is much better. Much better. Oh, I'm missing my main. <laughs> Coming in with yet another 100 bits. My goodness, madam. Thank you. Let's respawn bits. Now I just gotta make sure I'm not through in for bits now. Like, oh man, I got killed on day one again. Oh man. That is an odd way to phrase things. Likely be grabbing some cactus here. So let's do that, that, move this down here. Huh? Some of that, that's going to be useless. Generally, the only reason I do the bedroll thing is just to get it marked off the list. As we know, bedrolls are useless to us. Punch one of these up. It's going to be a contribution to the greater project. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that would be cool. Like, everyone just kind of like chipping in a bit. All right, stop. <laughs> I'm going to take off and that is like the worst thing that I can do. Um, I super get sidetracked easily. But I need to get some uh, stones somewhere. Small stones will be ya. Uh... Plenty of uh, birth nest. Corn, always a good time. <laughs> right, so we have a gravel road. Very nice. POI, okay. Oh, nice. We actually do have a bit of a view here. So I think that wasteland is where we look at that. Is that all wasteland? That can't be. That's nonsense if that's the case. So is it just all wasteland and burnt forest after that point? Maybe. Zombie. The terrain is super interesting looking. At least. <laughs> Definitely the hardest time I've had finding <laughs> just like a few small stones. Actually, that's not true. I think I had a pretty rough go of it yesterday. One of those tries. Ah, there we go. Ta da! That's truth. Go scoop it up from the side of the road. It's going to be an interesting set. Oh, no, no, I don't need two of those.
Yeah, there's little gravel bits on the map. That was a cool little thing they added. Like, I don't generally find, like, a ton of that resource down there, but you can find some. That's nice. Hmm. Yeah, rather than boogie on out to the snow biome. Which isn't, like, terrible by any means, but... Could be a little rough. Lumberjacks and the like. Freezing cold temperatures. Alright, I've got a good feeling about this one. I had a good spawn on it. I kind of want to go check that house out, but there's something about it. Like I'm just, I'm just driven to go uh, find a city and a trader. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was like, yeah, that was definitely the a cool thing they added in. Just to kind of help, especially like, um, like if you don't have a certain biome near you, like the maple forest for like massive amounts of lead, or like you know snow biome for your nitrate or whatever. Um, it really helps to be able to find some of those gravel patches. About man, I think this map is almost all wasteland. <laughs> it's harsh biz. There was one game where I was just too lazy to go set up a mine in the snow biome. There actually was a snow biome. And uh, I just I was too lazy to go set up a mine in there for nitrate, so I used the gravel patches. Oh, Missy Mermaid. Word it. Thank you very much. Gift in a surfizzle. That sub. Good times. Alright, I should probably make some weapons. I mean, we could make the arrows first. Oh, here we go. <laughs> make 65 of those, and then my, uh, my club should be reasonably good after that. And then we'll go back, and then make these arrows, and everything should wrap up nicely. Then I don't even have to open my menu. <laughs> That gravel road does continue yonder way. We're pretty east on the map here. My goodness, look at all. It's like this whole map is wasteland. You can see the line between the plains and the wasteland right there. I'm really bad at tracing this on con controller. <laughs> anyway, that way. <laughs> with a PC with like a mouse, that'd be way easier to do. Ah! I wasn't paying attention. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, come on, lady! I don't have any weapons yet. Oh, we are dust. We are dust. Everybody's faster than me, dude. White shirt, faster than me. Lady, super faster than me. None of them are done. Uh, I got no choice, I gotta... Come on! Come on!
Come on. I need at least one of these to make crap. Do it! Do it! There's something for them to like hopefully take their legs off on. Don't blow up the car. I'll be salty. You have no idea how salty I'll be with you. She's gonna sneak up and hit me from behind. Actually, I don't think they can blow up the car. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you didn't need those legs anyway, brother. I'm just saying. The game is a little salty about this, though. It keeps freezing on me. Ah, I I'm trying to pay attention. Do my best. Hey, Emmanuel! Yeah. Fuck in! Ah, sorry! Ah! Ah, oh, I can't- Ah! What's with the aim? Alright, alright, we're good. Oh, jeez, my hands are so sweaty right now. Oh yeah, cops? Yeah, cops can, for sure. They're huge jerks. <laughs> I can't believe I lived through that while I was, like, crafting my weapons. <laughs> Get out of here. Stop breaking my stuff. We're already at half health. <laughs> First kill every time. I don't know why. Somebody just broke their legs trying to get down here, though, it sounds like. <gasps> what do you mean? I'm gonna die. I don't want to use my bandage. It's too valuable. Where are these zombies going? Like, what's with that? Where are you going? She's just like, nah. No idea where that lady's going. Alright. Let's sort ourselves out. Hoping there'd be a bit of cotton lying about. What? <laughs> that just finished? What do you mean? <laughs> I did that stuff so long ago? What do you mean? Get out of here. You got a boogie on? Yeah. Oh man. That is death if she hits me. What am I doing? What are you doing? <laughs> My goodness, this lady has like 10 billion hit points. Get out of here. And she like keeps turning like right as I swing. <sighs> and nothing. Are you kidding me? I did all of that and I get nothing for it? Come on. Come on, game. Yeah. What did I get from that dude? Nothing. Okay, cool. We got absolutely nothing for that. <laughs> and what's with these no city having maps? I 
I see highways and the like, but there are no cities anywhere. I already checked that. Yeah, barely. I'm try to catch up on chat real quick. I just finished baking cookies. I must have missed some more stuff up there. Got the car. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Indeed, I do like some fresh cookies though. I mean, look at this. Yeah, there's no cities. No city over there either. Wow. Uh, I'm kind of dead, I think. Man, she's a smart one. Yeah, that's it. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Dude, what is with these maps? These maps are awful. There are no cities anywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, now I'm at the point where I'm, I'm kind of distracted. I was really in it that first that first run we did, and now I'm just getting wrecked over dumb stuff. But it's super weird. Like, cause we spawned on the west side and the east side of the map, and it looked like there were no cities anywhere near there. What are you doing? Game, what are you doing? Come on, man. Alright. We're gonna do this. <laughs> I am gonna do this map again though. I'm curious. There's something about this map that has me curious. The uh, last map we did guaranteed there were no cities on the north end of it. So like, the regular permadeath map was totally awesome. Like it had a bunch of cities and everything, but permadeath 2 and permadeath 3 seemed to have issues. We'll see. I, don't know, I always check this just to make sure, but yeah, unless I turn off the console, they should be the same. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start this, and I'm going to run off to the restroom real quick. <laughs> Oh, nutty nuts. It's 3 a.m.? My goodness. You work in four hours? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, yeah, I hope you have a good nap. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we will definitely see you around soon. Uh, take care, and, like, thank you so much for hopping in and hanging out. All the hypes and cheers bits. Great times. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I hope you have a fantastic day tomorrow. Or today, as you get off to work. But, uh, yeah, we will see you again soon for sure. Chang? Oh, Chang. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I, like, there are really no difference in characters on this, I don't believe. But you work third shift for years, four hours, the minimum you need function? Oh, well. Wow. Will do. <laughs> Have fun dying? Hey! <laughs> No, it's gonna happen for sure. But I thank you. Anyway, like I said, I do need to I need to hop off and take a short break. But I'm gonna do that while everything's loading in here. Four hours.
Rosa do. GG. <laughs> I'll see you around next time. And everyone else, be right back. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Hot toddies and black hole brownies and a lot of in good times. Uh, let's see what else I missed here. Crack up a bunch of people. <clears throat> Indeed. There we go. Okay. And right, I got my headset plugged in now. It's like I'm wearing I'm wearing a hoodie, <laughs> and it's like I think it's always rubbing up against that. Wait, am I in the same place I was last time? They spawned me at a POI. Where are we at? Oh, we're south. We're south this time. All right. We're super far east still, but uh, we're on the opposite side of the map, which is cool. It's like so hard to get. That's close enough. And I say I don't know why I keep marking these. I'm not going to the hub city anytime soon. It's just kind of like, you know, if I'm wandering around and I kind of see it pop up on my compass, I know to just turn around and go the other way. Ooh. Kind of foggy out here, huh? Alright. While I get myself up and running again, um, what I'm going to do here is uh, I grab myself a quick snack. So I'm just going to mute the mic and then kind of run around and punch grass and get stone and all of that stuff. So I will be back on the mic in just a bit. <laughs>
I tried that um, ME forward slash, and that's all it did. It just popped up with my name. <laughs> I was trying to put the, uh, the bit in there. Can I do this and then that? Nope. Yeah, if I do forward slash space ME, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Interesting. But yeah, just forward slash ME. <laughs> yeah, it changed my life, Fizzle. Absolutely changed my life. I feel like I have an entirely different relationship with Twitch now. <laughs> okay, so we got some of that. Do some of this. And as much as I keep telling myself I need to get all set up, I have yet to do that. Let's actually do this. Alright, game. How much wood do we have? Okay. Um, let's make some of these. Let's go over here. Make some of these. Three. Why? Wood. Okay. Oop. Oop. We are going to stop that so we no longer have an axe. I'm going to make that first. <laughs> you smashed down my walls? Rewrite, <laughs> re dry walls in? Word. I can get down with that. Okay. Let's get ourselves some type of functionality here. That is a can of chili. Do this, do that. We got arrows. I need. We need supplies. All right, check it out. We got plains. We got pine forest. A tiny little bit of snow biome, and then wasteland. <laughs> That's an interesting spot there. Yeah, the old walls were looking a bit rough anyway, Fizzle. So thank you very much. Greatly appreciate that. Yeah. Get away. Get away. Don't smash me up. And that tree is going to smash my face in. I'm going to go check this POI out. I've been kind of avoiding them because they come with zombies. But, um... Uh... We gotta do something different. I gotta do something different because I am just repeatedly getting wrecked here. Mm. Oh, I tried to stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna check it out. So, we have our axe, we have a club, we're about to have an, uh, a bow, we have some arrows, I have a little bit of barbed wire, and some frames, right? This is probably probably what I should be doing, or should have been doing, immediately, every time I've spawned into one of these things. But, uh, I'm bad, so <laughs> that's a thing. I'm curious about that uh, POI gravel road that goes around that way. Wait a minute, isn't that where I died last time? No, it couldn't be, because we we're on the opposite side of the map. We're on the south side. But yeah, because I was like walking down that hallway, in the hallway, that uh, highway, and there's a hill there, and all that. Anyway. And we're off. To brave. Searching this POI out. Honestly, it doesn't look like the game spawned anybody in. Do we get free reign of this POI? Is that what I'm saying? Nope. 
Zombie leader. Zombie dude, what you doing, man? Good. Break that door down, I dare you. I thought someone was going to run up behind me real quick. There they go. Ah, I can't make that jump. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did you come from? Oh, oh, you noob. You maniac noob. Look, right there. She ran up. <laughs> Zombie knows how to use ramps. Potentially could use some arrows. Oh man, she's a genius. This lady is a genius. Honestly, I didn't think she'd be able to hop up there from that angle. If I can do that, I assume the zombies can do it. Yep. You've got to be kidding me. What? Okay, so he managed to make it up and over my frames. Game. The game is just like wrecking my face. Everything about it. Like, we don't even. Like, I'm almost dead. That boulder is see through. I'm not entirely sure what to do about this. Come on, put it down. Yeah, yeah, bears, uh, they got some special skills. Sometimes they can teleport. I don't even know what's going on over at the house. But we have no bandages now. I guess that's the point of the bandage, though, is to save your life, as it just did. is confused beyond all belief. That's cool. We have a crawler just hanging out down here, which isn't too bad. What's that name? He still doesn't see us? Okay, there we go. Got a dude spawning out over there as well. In front of us. <laughs> I'm just getting wrecked out here. Come on, man. Got no stamina. over there on my frames. little speck of snow biome there. <laughs> I was really hopeful for uh, something in there. 
I gotta fix this. This is bothering me though. Pig. Be all right. Back at inside the boulder. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Let's do that. Bad time for you, Sir Fizzle. Well, thank you very much. Hopping in, hanging out. I'm not gonna drop that. Thousand, <laughs> the thousand bit bomb. Super awesome of you. Greatly appreciated. Thank you, sir. I hope you have a fantastic evening. And I'll most likely see you in the great Sir Wild Mantel stream tomorrow. What else can we do for ourselves here? Not a lot, huh? <laughs> there you go, this is what I need. Smash that rock. It is fun, isn't it? I hope none of these zombies see me. I'm just over here like reading chat. Somebody after my raid just lost their legs though. I have got to figure out what this lady's up to. Oh man, they messed that up, didn't they? Oh no, I ran up the wrong side. Alright, so we have zombie running around out there. Oh, he sees me. Oh, GG. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't think I have the 8-ball set up. I'm a really bad streamer, my apologies. I don't have a lot of the games and things going for folks. Feels bad. But I say you will. It's gonna be a good night. This is the dude I'm most worried about. Oh jeez, he's on a weird path. And he's gone. This is mostly bad. Alright. Hold up. Wait, why am I here? There's like a few more of these. Hopefully make sure that they don't... Uh, see me here. Oh, good. There we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> you should be good, then. This dude is oh, freaking out. His step stool took off. Like, I literally don't even have enough arrows to do this. Okay, so running to a POI immediately is a terrible idea. <laughs> I probably they're probably just a better way for me to handle it, and I did not take that opportunity. I thought I was doing good though. Getting set up. Okay, I maybe should have used the word figuratively rather than literally, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Or I could just be like, I may not have enough arrows to do this.
every time I shoot him in the face, he gets closer to me. <laughs> okay, you know, like, for some reason it kind of helps him find his way up a bit more. Oh, come on, stop sliding around, game. I don't have time for this. him run around for a bit. What? There is pulling to the right though. Come on. Yeah, every time I shoot him in the face, he gets closer to figure out how to get to me. And there it is! Are you kidding me? Shoot dude in face. Teleports up the rock. You gotta be kidding me, game. This dude's over here just, like, beating that house to death. This is a terrible idea. I should not have come over here. And where is he now? He's just gone. <laughs> oh, he broke his leg off. I... <laughs> you kind of... Far behind there, the one that okay. And they just destroyed my loot. <laughs> one glue. That dude's gonna be popping out that window pretty soon. I'm just glad those frames have managed to keep that lady in place. Man, mood is rough out of here. Yeah, he's about to come flying out that door. Or wall, I guess. It's not a. Well, it's a door he's currently making for himself. You all right over there? Another crawler coming through. Okay, nobody else though. I thought I saw another one. I'm not entirely sure how to deal with this. Spend heavier on your fort. <laughs> yeah, I might have to. Do you have to move about? That's all good. I'll sort it out. We will get there. This is mostly just a terrible mess. Right <laughs> what do we need here? There we go. Have fun. I'll be back. As far as I can tell, they really won't be going anywhere. <sighs> Alrighty. How are we doing here? Cool, that will help us heal. We need the food and the water. 
Although I don't think water helps you heal. <laughs> So yeah, while they're stuck up there, it gives me just a bit to come down here, gather up some resources, and then go back and deal with them. That's uh, not in a good spot to do that. So mainly I need some stone. Oop, there's another zombie over there. There we go. Hang out right here for a second. Oh, I didn't realize they could do that on hard mode. Like I, I mean, well, in my vast knowledge of Minecraft, of the like what three or four times I've played the game, <laughs> I've never seen it either. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but uh, yeah, that's good to know. I'm taking this house. Taking this house if it kills me. It's kind of a silly thing to say though, because if it kills me, I won't be taking anything, will I? Wait on this for just a second. I need my stamina back. Do that, do that, scrap that. I'm not going to scrap that. I've already got lead, so I'm just going to scrap that. Ta da! We leveled! <laughs> the airlock concept is when you use Austin. Huh. front doors. Interesting. I'll have to look into it. Oh, come on, game. All right. Just in case, we get totally wrecked here. At least stop a bleed out, I guess. Are y'all still angry out here? Look at him just standing up there. I don't know where that lady is, though. Oh, so angry? Yeah, they are. They're super deluxe angry. Sweet, got our first bone. Now makes bone shiv. Did she just give up and die over there?
with me the first time I seen a zombie just like die. It's uh, uh some other despawn rate or something. Game, what are you doing to me? That was a really long freeze. Look at the drop in this game. Archery is really, really inconsistent in this game. Because, like, just a second ago, they were pulling to the right. Now the arrows are pulling super far to the left. She just injects him with, with the chemicals. <laughs> yeah, that's how you cure the zombie infection. Got that sneak attack, though. Yeah, she just gave up and died. Wow, the zombie loot has been really bad this play, like this one. Got nothing from like the first three zombies I killed. <laughs> and then sham sandwiches. This dude's an idiot. Who's <laughs> that they're breaking everything? I bet he's stuck on that candle. Are you kidding me, game? There we go. <laughs> what is this? You want to eat some more of my ammo there, brother? This is nonsense. Just jump over that. My goodness. Dude ate all my ammo. And nothing. <laughs> I basically got absolutely nothing for killing all of those zombies. <laughs> be interesting to see how chemicals and things like that affected zombies. Man, that was rough. And they got a forge in here. <laughs> Doesn't really help us. Right now. There we go. One bandage. Not bad. Wow. Wow. Sweet. Okay, after all that doing, honestly, I'm pretty salty about this. <laughs> Yeah, that was a waste of my time. And all of my resources. <laughs> that was an absolute waste. Alright, what do we got here?
I got beer. That is true. I do have the one beer. And also, that could save my life. Beer is no joke. It's pretty overpowered on console. From what I hear, they have nerfed it quite a bit for PC. But on console, it's still super powerful. Beer. Indeed. <laughs> Basically, I was gonna, I was gonna wait until I found a town. Oh well, I've really, I haven't moved at all. This is all I've uncovered so far. <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna find a town before I did my campfire business, but I think I'm just gonna do it now. It'll give me a direction to go because most likely the trader that they give us access to will be in or by a town rather. Hey, he's on our map. There he is. 1200 north. Yeah, that still leaves us plenty of room to the top of the map. All right, cool. We have a direction to go. Um, I don't have cooking pots anymore, though. Oh, the door is locked. I need some clay. I can use this anvil, or anvil. I can use this forge, but I have to make an anvil so I can make a cooking pot. Anvil is like 200 iron. Ah, oh, there we go. 200 iron, 20 clay, and then like... Cooking pots are really cheap, though. 25 and 5, so. Um, I just need to go get some iron. Whatever. There are words coming out of my mouth, and they're the wrong ones, but you know what I mean. Come on. We have... We have no feathers left. Alright. So we absolutely need to get some feathers... Yeah. Alright, clay. I want to work. I don't want it to be too close to the house. Words are crazy indeed. Language is a very strange thing. Probably not the best thing for... That is not clay at all. Wait, no. Yeah, it is. There we go. I was going to say, you lied to me, map! <laughs> but yeah, words are... Uh, I'd say inefficient at best. As far as transmitting ideas. It's like, we have to translate our idea into symbols, right? You know, especially looking at written language, right? And then, like, translate those symbols into, like, audible words. <laughs> and and then, you know, relay those to somebody, right? But then their understanding is based on their... Like, their understanding of your idea is based on their understanding of words, right? So, in general, like, language is extremely inefficient in the transmission of ideas. I'm still carrying this bead on me. That is uh that is a bad idea. D 
did we get? Oh, cool. That this will help out a ton. I can't remember if we had leveled a second time or not. That stamina regen is enormous. You try to banner time yourself out, but you can make comments, which is the most accurate and overly affectionate. <laughs> Interesting. Got to get myself sorted out. Super weird when they just stop for like just a second and then take off again. It's super hard to line that shot up. <laughs> Come on, dear. I got shooting to do. Whatever. Change my mind. Okay. How long is that? Good enough. I'm gonna scoot around here and see if I can't find some uh, birds and nest. So I'm gonna say I do not even have enough to make bacon and eggs out of those three meats I got. We got the meats! Oh, we need the eggs. Kid me, dude? Is that just you? Ah, oh, goodness, dude, you make a lot of noise. Three. <laughs> Break the block between my feet. Oh, doesn't matter. I'm going to jump off for him. Oh, that was uh, not super bright. All right. <laughs> Could have used the uh, bone shift to kind of gather some more of that stuff up. That freezing right there kind of worries me though. That was like a pretty fierce freezing. 
And we may have zombies spawning in on us. Yeah, as soon as I get this all sorted out, I'm going to gather myself up and be on down to the trader. And we need feathers. We need a many, many feathers. But hopefully when I take off, I'll have a fair amount of stone on me. And then uh, grab feathers along the way. I need a gun. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get one of those eventually. What are we at? 224. It's alright. It's not too bad. Man, that takes forever. I need one egg. <laughs> I can make three bacon and eggs here. Can I just make the one of those a uh, bacon and egg? Just one egg. That's all I need. Slightly lighter breakfast, yeah. Man, the loot is in super bad on this one but we've had some really good rng on the other attempts that we've had tonight i did find that level like 140 something wrench uh super early last time which was very nice i did not get to use it but uh still nice very nice um Oh, actually, we're going to leave that hood and mask on. It looks kind of cool. Maybe, like, toss the gloves. Because it'll have insulation on them. Because, you know, surviving the apocalypse is all about looking cool. Come on, game. I just need one egg. Got all good, indeed. My bird's nests are almost the same color as all of the terrain out here. <laughs> a little challenging to see. It's like snow biome is super good for that. I mean, I guess unless it's snowing. <laughs> um, also, burnt forest because there's just really not a lot of grass. Seems to be really easy to find them in. A bit odd that there would be a bunch of birds' nests in the burnt forest, but cool if you run across them. Wow. 
Wow. Are my eyes failing me? Or are there just very, very few birds nests out here? Reet? <laughs> Game? Oh, it looks slightly less cool now, but we got that awesome hood and bandana on. No, seriously, like, where are all the birds in this? Hey, Sudoku Hawk. Welcome in. I'm starting to think there's something wrong with my eyes. Planes by him. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Seriously, though. We gotta toss it. It's gotta go. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, what do you mean? Zombie lady. Oh, <laughs> found a bird's nest <laughs> right by the zombie. Oh, that one's empty. We've already hit it. All right. Well, whatever. We're just gonna head back. I could do like a charred meat or something. I, I usually try to avoid that because it. I think it dehydrates you. Is somebody playing uh, with me? No. We're still rocking in solo. And that's so weird. Bird's nest, super hard to find. Oh, <laughs> I actually ran out of fuel in there. I'm gonna do like an inventory purge real quick. I'll sort myself out a little.
Yeah, I basically need to eat and then get out of here. Maybe I'll come back for this stuff someday. Kind of doubt it. It'd be super nice to be able to turn those jars into some water, though. I don't remember if there was a uh, body of water that I could see from here. It doesn't look like it. Alright. I almost think I should take my anvil with me. I'm taking my cooking pot. If the game would let me do so. Um, bones, iron. That's something I can do. I just pump this out as scrap. How long is that going to take? Four minutes. We don't have that quicker crafting. Where are we sat with points and whatnot? Zero points? Gotcha. Alright. Um, we need... I mean, we could always use more stone, more wood. Kind of upgrade all of our stuff here. Um, just kind of wait on that iron to pump out. And then we'll take it with us. Not a lot, but I will most likely just use it to make barbed wire. And let me try something real quick. Um, I just need... Oh, there are, <laughs> there's no bird's nest around here. I just need a container to put something in. Wow. Alright, change plans. We're gonna go grab that. I wanted to test out and uh, actually get a figure on how much stone we would get from breaking a 500 hit point block here versus breaking a 400 hit point block there. As far as I remember though, like, um, resource boulders are just gonna give you more. Really? We're still hot? Sure enough. Doesn't have to be that way though. <laughs> I thought I had it. Really? Come on, zombies. Get out of here. Okay, and then they destroyed my barbed wire. And there goes two. You gotta be kidding me, game. Grass, worst enemy in the game. That's some very expensive uh, stuff to just be thrown out early game. Um, thank you. A nice slow motion action shot there. Hopefully this is not zombies spawning in on me to join up. Wow. Wow. You gotta be kidding me, game! <laughs> Hit that block, changed its shape, scooted right up to the top. I call hacks. Hacks. 
All right, well, she's legless now. GG. Yeah, soft blocks are scary. Disco deer, get down, get down, disco deer. Right there, go. Let's turn it. Up. Club up a little bit. Hey, lady. Trash. <laughs> Zombie loot is awful today. Well, this, this, uh, playthrough, I guess. Eventually that deer would have died, I would imagine. Actually, maybe not. It didn't sound like he was taking damage. You can hear their vocalizations when they were taking damage. I could have swore I saw a lady out there. There she is. Run her by a bunch of cacti. She should see if she doesn't break her feet off. That would be wicked handy. Are there still a zombie over here? What? Man, I don't know if there's a way back up here. This place is getting kind of wrecked. Ugh, ugh, jump, jump, jump. Crisscross would make you. <laughs> All right. Uh, she almost got me. Scary lady. Quite a... Ooh. Over here, breaking the rock. Yeah, I don't even, uh, I'd forgotten that dude was over here. Either that or he showed up a little while ago. I need to get that pummel peat. Or, I mean, ew. <laughs> I need to get my uh, blunt weapon skill leveled. I right, watch those hit points. I just got them all back. Hey, short arm pipes. And we're off. Yet again. Where's this? I need to keep up on top of those. Um, seems like the Yoka juice is going to be super helpful. 
Did you look at man look at that this is all wasteland and then water and then burnt forest <laughs> the uh southern end of the map looks awful <laughs> as well as the uh the west side, right? Did we spawn on the west side first time for this scene? And it popped me right in that waste or um, that burnt forest, and the burnt forest was surrounded by wasteland and the edge of the map, and that was it. Bear, and another invisible rock. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, you can just kind of see the outline of it or something. Something weird with the uh, terrain generation here. <gasps> okay. Let's uh, release our breath. For a second there, I thought it was a traitor. But now I realize that it's a death trap. <laughs> that place is surrounded by landmines. But yeah, it couldn't have been a traitor because that would have shown up as our closest traitor. Hey, there's our one egg. Whoop, whoop. Make one more bacon and egg before we boogie. What do we got in our hands? Word. No way. It's in the wasteland? Rip airdrop, I'm not getting that. There ain't no way I'm running out there. Landmines, dogs. Hmm. It's not worth it. I don't care if there's like a stack of medkits in there. Every schematic I could ever want. Like a 95% chance of me dying en route. Or on the way back. And there are a ton of animals out here, though. That's pretty rocking. Maybe we should hang out. And maybe that's kind of what I'm doing wrong. You know, I'm like, I'm still kind of stuck in that idea of needing to, like, find a city. I'm not thirsty. We will be here in just a moment. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of my normal... My go-to playstyle, I guess. Right? Like, uh, run to a city. You know, then run around it, see if it's got the stores I want, and if I don't like it, then I go find another city. Oh, not hyped about that. We gotta watch. Oh, we don't have, we don't have time to watch this. <clears throat> that went right through her face. That one went over her shoulder, so I can understand that. Well, who knows? Maybe I do just need to like set up, like at the POI I'm at right now. It's like we found a place, we cleared it. Maybe we should just move in. Am I going to do that right now? No. <laughs> but we'll heavily consider it <laughs> for the next one. Man, zombie loot. What's going down, brother? It's terrible. <laughs> zombie loot is terrible today. I do need one more small cactus here. Like the larger ones seem to give you two. 
be okay. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter, we can just eat the other one. I just wanted to make sure I had like two jars on me. With the good stuff. What's our food looking like? Alright, we can just eat all of this. Those last few hit points up. What's our wood supply look like? <laughs> we could do better. Hey there, Stephanie. Um, this is a solo playthrough. Um. And right now we are on, basically we're doing a permadeath playthrough on Nightmare settings. And I ran the wrong way. Oh, I ran the wrong way. How are you doing? Alright, we got you there. Yeah, this is a first for me and it's kind of <clears throat> me just trying to figure out how to play this game. Uh... In a different way than I've ever played it before. <laughs> Dude got lost. But I would also say... Whoop! Oh, almost broke my foot! Alright, he broke his foot. That works for me. But I'd also say, like, in general, I won't really play with anyone unless I know them. You know, if I've had a chance to get to know somebody, like either through chat or gameplay or something like that, then I'd say that would be an option. But uh, I am mostly a solo gamer. Alright. Dude is running the, <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> or crawling. Oh, did you find your way back? I assume that's your gamer tag. Well, I mean, if anyone's looking for a, a someone to play Seven Days with, uh, I usually, I mean, yeah, I'll usually like add people after a stream. Um, but yeah, for those who have added me, <laughs> uh, I'm hoping it's not. They're not too upset that I've never played with them before. Oops. Go. Oh man, our wooden club is wrecked. Okay. Let's go. Do that, do this. Scooping that it. Hey, level 558 boots. No, I, was, <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Like nine caps or a bit of cloth. That cloth is more valuable to me. Um, feathers. Yeah, we're not doing too bad on that. Go ahead and make another 61 of those. And make our new club and our new bow. And that's something you'll see me do almost every time. I make a substantial number of arrows, just make a new club, new bow. Oop. And now I am sat here with no weapons. Maybe not the best of ideas. Yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah, I got that. Yeah, I saw that up there. Okay, I need to check my map. Hey there, butcher. Okay, yeah, uh, we need to go back that way. Welcome in. Yeah, I have uh, basically just been getting wrecked by the game. So we are on nightmare settings and uh, doing a permadeath playthrough. I have uh, failed this like six times now. <laughs> 
I've had two that we made it to day five, and I felt really good about it. And then, you know, through me not paying attention enough or whatever, you know, I just kind of got my face ripped off, and it wasn't necessarily a whole lot of fun, but we're all right. Cool. Let's get some decent stuff going. Yeah. <clears throat> In general, I feel like this is going to make me a much better player of the game. Because mostly, like, I build, right? Building is my main draw to this game. Um, and here, it's like, I have to survive long enough so that I can even start something. <laughs> so, um, it's very different. Like, super focused on just trying to survive... You know, I was reasonably focused on that previously, you know, in other games, but not to the point where if I died, I would just delete the save file, right? That's been uh, new. <laughs> Word. We have got the iron now. Um... I forgot. Oops! I forgot I took my cooking pot with me. All right. So I'll take my one meal with me. Wow. Oh wow, I didn't even realize that was open. Well, I'm glad we made it inside before the uh, Wandering Horde spawned on us. Whoa! Easy there, brother! Man, he figured that out real fast. Did you see him? I like broke that bit of window and he took off. We do need more torches though. It is too dark. Just need one of y'all to spawn up real quick. Oh man, those take forever. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That dude does a ton of damage. What am I doing? No, stop. Oof. It's so hard to do anything with that. Why can't I jump up there? Game, help me. That's interesting. It seems to be in a pattern. So let's hop right here. You big jerk. <laughs> These dudes are no joke. Let's do the 
this. Let's do with that. You done wrecking my porch, dude? Stand out here in the uh, space that that last zombie made up here. Well, I guess this was his home originally. Uh, we showed up and kind of moved into his house here. Whoop. I'm stuck. Oh, really? Oh man, oop, that's bad. Alright, that shot I should not have taken. Yeah, I knew I shouldn't have moved over. Jump! Let's see if we can get him... Oh, are you going to the... you're going to the side door. Hey! There's really no way for you to get in here, is there? Let me help you out a bit. Oops, wrong block. Hey, we got four points. All right, we're level four and have ten points. There you go. What's up, brother? Man, it's gonna take me like multiple days just to get out of this house, it seems. My goodness. Normally I wouldn't do this. <laughs> you can actually get electronics from this. Oh, I was hoping I could see his body from there. We're gonna try some some business here. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Zombie loot. It's rough. Alright. That should kind of keep them from busting in here. There we go. Oh, dang. Oh, this is the. This one's unlocked. Sweet. Have to keep that in mind. Alrighty. Oh, there's our uh, original torch. Okay, what was I doing? I still need stone. I need stone and wood. Let's go then. Um... We really boarded ourselves up, didn't we? Actually, that's what I was saying I wanted to do last time, yeah? Put that there. And then if I need to, I should be able to just like toss one there. You can still have the door open. That might work. Whew. So what was I doing before I took off running for my life? <laughs> Oh yeah, we had actually come back here to like drop things off, cook. Uh, let's check this. I don't have anything, but I do like I said, I need to go get stone, and so I will also be getting iron in the process. Um, 
Okay, let's just go do that. I think there are some resource boulders like right near me. There's one. <laughs> Alright, there's two here. Maybe I'll just go scoop some, both of those up. There's two right there. <laughs> also, I have two coal patches and a nitrate patch. That's good stuff. Two more coal here. Definitely got to find a ton of coal in the plains. Like we got nitrate there also. Anyway, let's head up uh, right here. I'm just going to scoop up a couple of these. Are we on wood? We need wood. Feathers we're going to have to get on the go. I haven't really been able to find a ton of feathers out here. And that airdrop is dead to me. <laughs> I had no interest in running over there for that thing. Do 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 do. Chop. Ch -ch chop chop chop. <laughs> oh man. Is that someone busting down my door? Gonna be salty. But I needs it. Nope, I don't need it that bad. <laughs> it's over in the wasteland. Yeah, yeah, the one underwater, I almost drowned and then like... Well, that was my bad though. I turned north and I needed to go south. I ran straight into the rad zone. But yeah, this one's out in the wasteland. It's not worth it. I have no means to really defend myself against dogs. Um... I mean, we might get lucky. I can probably throw down some barbed wire, but, you know, on insane difficulty, they're just going to kill me in, like, three to five seconds. Um, so if I get lucky and they hit the barbed wire, maybe we can pull something off. Uh, and, like, if I'm running away from them and I happen to step on a landmine, that's GG game over. In a normal in a normal playthrough, yes. I would absolutely go for it. Um, and maybe I would even just wait, you know, until I was a bit better geared out and head out there, which we might do here, but uh, if it wasn't like a permadeath setup, I would totally go for it, you know. But here, <laughs> I've died too many times to just silly things that I shouldn't have died to. I gotta start treating this like this is real life, man. <laughs> but it's like that... Uh, one of my airdrops I got today had the auger schematic, exploding crossbow bolts, and the spiked club in it. Like, all three of those schematics. They had shotgun slugs as well, but that's mostly useless for a really long time. Shotgun slugs are so expensive. It's like... Five bullet tips, three bullet casings, and is it four gunpowder? Three to five gunpowder? Somewhere in there. Three to five gunpowder. It's a mermaid. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome in. Thank you for those rehello bits. <laughs> it's greatly appreciated as always. Good to see you back. How many times have I died? Today? Uh, three, I think. Come on, game. Unfreeze. Thank you. I thought that was a chicken. Not so bad. Well, I mean, I've been streaming for six hours, and we're on day three. <laughs> That's kind of rough. <laughs> that first death is like three hours, 20 minutes into the stream. And that set us all the way back. And then I think, yeah, we've died twice since then. So eventually, we need to actually, like, live. 
I'd like to get something beyond day five. Living for an entire stream would be nice. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, what is that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just some rain. <laughs> I thought it was that 224 fog rolling in. I was like, no! I know we're at six hours, but no! Yeah, poor Nugget. Nugget needs to stay away from the cactus. Need a chicken emote? <laughs> the goal should be to make it to day seven. GG, yeah. That would be the way. Make it through the Horde night. But even that seems so trivial to me. Like, you know, just make it through my first Horde night? Come on, Mike. <laughs> we gotta do better. <laughs> but that's like, that's a serious goal for me right now. Like, making it to day seven is a serious goal right now. And that's surprising to me. <laughs> Okay. Wow. I just ran right by that. There you go. Oh, what else did I say I needed? Oh, we need wood. Chop some of these folks down. Oh, you found one? <laughs> right on, Miss Zimmerman. Good times. Oh, I missed that one. Like I said, the uh, persons are fairly similar in tone to the rest of this terrain. So I'm sure I was walking by quite a few. Thought I heard somebody. Right, what do we got here? Oh, and I'm holding on to some raw meat. That's probably not the best of options for me. Exploding trees scare me. <laughs> it's only because like there was this one time I had a tree do that, make that noise when I chopped it down, and then like a couple minutes later my game crashed. So now every time it happens, I'm like, oh man, my game will crash. <laughs> and that's most likely not the case. Man, I need to go get some water. Shut it out. Can't be running out of the water. I talk too much. Kinds of sea creatures. Oops, I'm all looking at the chat. The icons are super small, or the emotes, or whatever. So I was not even looking at my screen. <laughs> I should have changed that axe out a little while back. The emotes are fun. Need some salt with that chicken. Don't die by emote, I'll try my best. Wait. That should be good. We have fourteen hundred wood. 
I'm gonna take another one of these with me, and then I need to get uh, I need to get stacked up and go. Well, maybe go visit our trader. Yeah. Don't really have anything to take over there, but it'd be kind of nice to see if he's near a town. Ah, that means I am carrying something that zombies can smell. So right now I have raw meat on me. Um, if you have like meat stew, they can also smell that. On console, it's it's just meat. So yeah, raw meat and meat stew. That's it. Nothing else smells. <laughs> but yeah, that's just saying that the zombies can like smell me. And that's why like I was kind of hesitant to be taking some of this stuff with me. That's why I like, well, I mean on the Masada series, like I don't have a mini bike or anything for that one. And so if I have to go traveling and I need to bring food with me, I'll try to take like, you know, veggie stew or like blueberry pie or cornbread or something. You know, you can just carry that stuff with you and the zombies can't smell it. But if you throw it in your mini bike, they can't smell it. It counts as a just a regular container and uh, that's fine. Okay, where are we sitting? What do we got? We have 100 feathers. I'm gonna use all of those this very moment. And then once again, we will make new bow, new club. And then I need to get out of here. I've been sitting here too long. It kind of feels weird using a POI for too long. <laughs> this is just kind of like my playstyle. I almost never use them. Now I could... Let's go ahead and make an iron reinforced club because uh, our crafting level is fairly decent. I don't want that to be as high as it can be. Let's do that and that. Let me make the bone shiv, then the bow, then the club. So all of this weaponsmithing XP will stack up until I finally make this, and it'll be as high a level as I can get it with my current skills and things. And we are all kind of hungry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, word. And honestly, like, <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this stuff. I'm kind of just smelting it down right now. Maybe I take the scrap with me. Um, I guess something I could do real quick. This will help me out. I'm going to leave a marker on this. I don't normally do this. Because uh, like I said, I almost never use POIs. But this will just let me know that like I can come back here and I actually have some resources and some supplies here. Like I'm not taking all this stuff with me. Like, a couple things here and there, yeah, but most of this stuff is going to get left. Although we are going to the trader. I'll take that paper with me and sell it off. <clears throat> Excuse me. This isn't too bad. We could actually come back here and make some forged iron or something, you know? Got 35 paper? Yeah, but Look at that. 21 caps for that. It's big money. <laughs> oh dang, I didn't realize we were making level 135s. Yep, yeah, buddy. Let's scrap that. Do we get our uh, arrow off? We did. Let's do that. Let's do that. Put that there. That there. Do some of that. Bazam. And we have 10 points and a fancy club, so I believe we need Pummel Pete. And there's our Wandering Horde. Wait, why can't I put this here? Oh, there we go. Let's see if they figure out how to use this. 
Dodge. All right, well, apparently they want to fight up on this side. Man, that's such a waste. I shouldn't have scrapped that wooden club. I'm not even going to use my iron one right now. Those things are too expensive. I use it to, like, save my life as I'm running about. I'm not going to use it on, you know, something like this. Okay. That would have worked if I'd have got here sooner. How does their AI work with this? She can't quite figure out how to get to me. <sighs> Missy Mermaid special. Alright. Well, she's going to be there for a while. It's going to take her quite a while to figure that out. <laughs> Thank you, Missy Mermaid. You got a crawler in? Indeed. Vitamins. I need this lady out here to at least break the railing so I can shoot her through. <laughs> well, or we just hop outside and say hello. Zombie lady. Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe that didn't hit her. Alright, game. A lot harder to do this if you're freezing mid-jump. Hmm. Interesting. Seriously, though, I should have just stayed inside. <laughs> I guess I didn't actually need to come out this way. Let me go find that uh, crawler real quick. We can actually do something about this. Really, I just want to get out of this house. Been here for days. It's so weird. <laughs> you fuzzy bear there. shot. Really? Alright, alright. I don't even know what that was about. She didn't sense us. She just kind of like turned around, ran, and then turned right back around and went to where she was. I got confused as to what she was doing. Come on. Let's go for a run. Come out this way. Alright, never mind. If she were to jump off of that, she'd probably break her feet off. This is nonsense. I need a stone axe. Come on, lady. There they go. That's all I needed from you. Take her a couple minutes. <laughs> okay, she's actually turning it quick. 
I was like, it's gonna take a couple minutes for her to figure out where I'm at. Oh, perfect. Canned food is amazing. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, Mr. Ruby. I thought it was good. Mark Walker. Oh yeah, I need to make one. <laughs> like, where's my stone axe? Not close that all the way. Oh, the Muppets are awesome. It's a good time. Okay. Is that used almost half the durability of that wooden club? Yeah, the uh oh I'm still in the forge. Oops. Glad that didn't pop in there. The uh, iron one would have lasted a bit longer, but still, like, it'd be sad to have made that thing and cost me a hundred iron, and then it's like it's busted before I even leave. All right, let's just let's just take this stuff to sell to the dude. Lead, I'm gonna sell him all my lead. I don't care. Don't need it. It will be quite some time before I actually need that stuff. And by then, hopefully I'll have the tools necessary to just go mine it up. Whatever. Eat it. You're starving, brother. Sister, I guess. And we need, uh, we have got to get some stuff going for ourselves. We need some water. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drink one of these. Probably make me cold, but I can, I guess, just make some plant fiber clothes or just take my hat off. Okay. It's 12 p.m. <laughs> We have a little bit of time before that trader closes. Airdrop though. That trader is deep though. I don't think I'm coming back here. I sure I don't really think I'm coming back here. I have a few spots left to just kinda of like pick stuff up as I go, I guess. I'm gonna pick up a few things. We got a little bit of food, some water, um, a couple cans of food. Yeah. I have a short iron pipe, uh, which I'm going to scrap. And then this stuff. Maybe we come back for it someday. I guess what I could do is just. We can turn it into forged iron, so if I do come back someday, I don't have to mess with it. I can just like pick it up and take off. Yeah. Now we'll have forged iron if we ever come back. <laughs> and 82 is not too shabby, I must say. It's rainy, huh? We could make some of this. Oh man, I have like no cloth. Super weird. I guess I haven't really come across much to scrap, have I? What? Those are wood? <gasps> what? We don't have these. Do we have these? No, we don't have these. That's a cool looking block. Oh, sadness. Okay. Um, there we go. 
I thought this was like a carpet or something I could <laughs> cut up for some extra cloth. All right. Do that. Cool. Well, GG, we have learned something. I thought cloth armor had insulation on it. Yeah, it provides some protection against the weather. But it actually doesn't. It says nothing about insulation on it. Huh. Maybe it keeps you dry? Yeah, I always thought because it said it has protection against weather that it would actually have insulation listed. Oh, there we go. Let's look at ourselves. <laughs> that looks dumb. Sorry. <laughs> but seriously. <laughs> Alright, let's go. A little bit of protection, though, may save our lives. So airdrop seems reasonably close. Watch, it's probably just like sat right over it in that wasteland. <laughs> if it's over there, I'm also not going to get it, so it will be down two airdrops to start. And seriously, like early game, those airdrops are amazing. Uh... Alright. Well, we made it a little bit away from our front door. Even this thing, Ooh, that thing's a little rough. Get there, though. <laughs> Come on, game. Um, we've got iron on us, yeah? Yeah. Let's go ahead and make a few more of those, then. I'm going to avoid that. If I can... See if the rest of that will load in for us. Yeah, I'm not super hyped about that. Let's see where it goes, though. Mm. Yeah, how are we overheating? We're currently being rained on. Maybe it does actually have insulation on it and just doesn't say it. I don't know. Oh jeez. Where are you going? I mean, that's a good zombie AI. They're just like zigging and zagging. It's like basically impossible to land a shot on them with this thing. GG zombie. I know that's just your pathing. <laughs> you really don't have control over that. Level five! Oh no, right? Ah! Help me! Just trying to see if we can just jump up there real quick. Zap! 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 Where you at, lady? I was gonna box her in. Does that work? <laughs> I've never done anything like this before, I just thought it'd be funny. Oh, we need more frames. Come on. Thank you.
That's interesting because she won't turn around. Also, however it is missed, I have no idea. Hey! That's good stuff. We're thirsty, aren't we? I was trying to save that uh, yucca juice a bit. There we go. That honey is clutch, though, because if... I don't think we have any antibiotics. No, we don't. I'm carrying a sham sandwich. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's a that's a fun little trick, I guess, if they get in a spot where you can just box them in. The only thing is though, there was like really nothing holding all those frames up. So if they were to like actually it probably would have held. I had a couple of them standing there. Anyway, I should have been more careful with the construction of it because they had broken any of those on the bottom, I probably would have fell through. So we'll, we'll take it with us. <laughs> if we run out of room, I'm gonna I'm gonna scrap it though. Most likely not really worth it. I mean, money-wise to carry it. Oh, jeez. Alright, he is no longer alone. Yeah, I think... I think cloth armor actually does have insulation on it. Alright, we're about to find out. If I take this off and I cool down, then uh, it does. <laughs> nope. Still getting hotter. Easy there, bro. <laughs> How did you even do that? Yeah, come on. Follow me up here. Bring it. Bring it, zombie. I dare you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he was stuck on the body. That's hilarious. Uh, GG, I guess? Get him always down. Let's test this thing out. Oh! I crouched! I accidentally crouched. That was bad news. Oh, I've got to stop doing that. That's going to get me killed. Oh, it came. Unfreeze, please. Thank you. Yeah, this is still not good enough.
I'm rough at this. Yeah, I need to have better control over my thumbs. <laughs> I can't afford to be crouching like that. There we go. Let's do this. I thought I saw a zombie over there, uh, and then I thought I saw a bird's nest here. <laughs> Rough. Man, why am I carrying around coal and nitrate? Man, I should have left some stuff in that chest. I mean, I guess I can just turn that coal and nitrate into gunpowder. <clears throat> it's two and two. To make gunpowder in your inventory, and it's one and one if you make it in a chemistry bench. So normally I don't ever do this. But this will help me save some space. And I can pick that up. And basically, I'm just like chowing down on this corn to get my hit points back. POI, skip it. We are on a journey. Let's hold off on that for a sec. Wait a minute. Oh, there they are. I was like, where are my frames? We need the frames. We could probably put the corn in place of the stone axe. I doubt I'm going to be using that while running. You alright, pig? Ah, <sighs> oh, jeez. Except that it looks like we're going to have to be constantly drinking... Yucca juice. Because it is hot. Um, cactus. Man, it is, uh, it is toasty out here in the plains. Ooh, actually... I'm trying to leave that egg there. Maybe that's not the best of ideas, but... We'll find more. Okay, so we got some feathers. Okay, stone and wood is looking okay. Yeah, I'm pretty full on the loot. Oh, jeez. Come on, game. There we go. Oh, 
And oh, I thought that dude saw me. <laughs> Just like he found himself a cactus. Running around eating corn. Is that another highway? Wait a minute. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even see that. Just ran right by that. Oh, and check that out. Okay, so the road comes right here and then takes a super hard left. And then there's another highway here. And there are roads all over out here. Just wonder if there are any cities. <laughs> Got a good feeling about this map, though. Mm. So stuff like that makes me think there's a city nearby. Oh, jeez. Absolutely not worth it. Motel 8? That's something. It doesn't mean a city. Necessarily. Oh, come on, game. Hit detection, please. Alright, that last shot was my bad. <laughs> Those first two I don't think were. Man, this dude's a genius. He got like the best zombie AI I've seen. Do it. Yeah, barbed wire is just dirty. That's not even fair. <laughs> oh, I need it. Man, this is so rough. I got this level 136 club. I have my first point into Pummel Pete. And it's like, it's not even enough to stun these zombies. One in every, like, what, five hits maybe that stuns them? Honestly, the way that motel is positioned there, I think this is just a four-way little area. Kind of like one of those rest stop things. Man. They turned off zombie loot for me, I think. <laughs> These folks are not dropping anything. Watch, dude's gonna drop me a sham sandwich. I take that back. Two cloth. We're set. Okay. We do have space for the rotting flesh. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't dropping stuff on the ground. And then maybe we should try some bladed action. The old hot chop. One thing I didn't root. Okay, I didn't. Okay. I was gonna say, I was like, I don't think I brought any uh, torches with me. Yeah, this is a four way. So, still, no cities. But even this could be useful. Like the motel and the passing gas, honestly, pretty good loot. B 
yeah, passing gas could potentially have a uh, workbench for us. But I kind of just want to get out of here. That would be a better spot to move ourselves from the POI we're currently in. Because, like, uh, what was it? Yesterday, I ended up getting, like, four wrenches out of that motel. It's a good time. All low level, of course, but uh, reasonably useful. Jeez, zombie. She managed to hide her face. Uh, there we go. <laughs> and I got no space. I can't hit it. <laughs> I was going to help her out. Uh, basically just to kind of move it out of my way. Because this is a waste of arrows, kind of. Oh, lucky. I got really lucky with that. It seems like on insane, if you're not hitting him in the face, it's really not doing you a whole lot of good. What did I get stuck on? There's something there, that's weird. Oops, I cannot close this menu because I believe her body just vanished. Yeah, sometimes when you have their inventory open, when they turn into a gore block, they just vanish. It's a little rough. It's a little rough. I also need to remember that I have that beer. If a bunch of zombies start trying to run me down, it'd probably be in my best interest to go ahead and drink that thing. This map is rough. Cause yeah, we're heading to this trader, but I still don't see a city. It's like permadeath two and three seem to be kind of devoid of cities. Actually, I may not have needed that drink. It's good for the stamina boost, but it's like the trader doesn't even open for five more hours. So it probably would have been better just sit tight. <laughs> Let that stamina regen. Those two points in sexual Tyrannosaurus are going to help out a ton.
Hey, rabbit. Is this dude just out in the middle of nowhere? It happens every once in a while. I have seen a trader that had no gravel roads leading up to it. He was just kind of out there on his own. <laughs> hey, Ada Chalk. Yeah, thank you for that follow, man. <clears throat> I do I greatly appreciate that. I don't have a cool rhyme for you like Mr. Wild does, but I definitely appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, he's just kind of out here, isn't he? He's not loading in properly. I hope this boulder is not too close. I might get teleported out of here. this guy. Oh, that might actually be good. Water! We absolutely need that. Uh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Uh, double wow? Come on. <laughs> There's that 224 fog. Alright, so it must have been 2 hours 24 minutes ago that we started this save file. <laughs> rip visibility what's interesting though is we made it three hours and 20 minutes on that first life uh that we tried this and we didn't have this fog roll in so i don't know what causes this um but normally after it starts on a save file it does it every single time right at two hours 24 minutes um this fog will roll in and it will stay in for exactly three hours and 30 minutes and then it will go away. Super weird. Don't know why it is. I was really happy though because it hadn't shown up today. Eating some food at 12.30. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be doing something similar myself before too long. Yeah, you'll watch, uh, if you watch any of my other series, every single one of them, Hardworlder, Traveler, Masada, uh, Nemesis, I don't know why I just named all of them and I said all of them are that way, but anyway, um, every, every single episode, two hours, 24 minutes in, this fog will show up. Oh, my. Super hyped about that. Ah, it is a wandering horde. Where did? Yeah, this is uh, this is a pretty fierce challenge for me. <laughs> I have been getting wrecked the past couple days on this. Yeah, it's a ton of fun. I love this game, man.
Dude's standing on top of that lady. Oh, man, custom his legs. <laughs> Got a severe case of the squishy legs going. I'm gonna have to get caught back up on chat here in a bit. I'm gonna let her go. Oh, come on, man. Don't be messing up the boulders. I hate when they get stuck on resource boulders. And they will actually sit there and just break them. Which is an absolute waste. There's not much I can do about that. His AI is locked in. I'm not gonna let her go again. She keeps stacking up on those bodies. Now the dude over there getting wrecked on the cactus, that's fine. He can get wrecked over there early once. Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm waste I'm wasting my arrows. I forgot I had those steel arrows we found. What can we do here? I need some stuff. Um that'll actually work. Oh, it's gonna take two minutes. Normally I would do that the other way around so I can get the levels on the bow, but I'm kind of just like out of space right now. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that guy. Where did she go? Oh, she like ran over here and then came back. Oh, gotta go. Well, at least we have something to keep us busy until six. The game is getting angrier and angrier with me though. It seems to be freezing more often now. And my apologies! Ah! I was gonna say, for the darkness of everything. Oh, that's not gonna help! Oh, come on, man! I took the. Oh, it's over. Come on! Ah! <laughs> that was so dumb! I just fell off the top. That was so dumb. Oh. Oh. There goes another four days. Man. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's been the thing. Is like I have not made it past day five on this. I put in like... I don't know, 12 hours worth of streaming and have not been able to make it past day 5. Whew. That's some rough business. Whew. Oh, geez, that's loud. Let's see what this dude is up to.
Rip, indeed. That's it. Day four. Trader opens in one minute. There he goes. <laughs> All right, there we go. Man, this is like, this is really testing me, I guess. Like, um, you know, I've put so much time into this game. You kind of walk into it like, yeah, I got this, no worries. Nah, <laughs> that lady hit me like, what, three times and killed me? Oof, that is rough biz. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. On this series, that is the way we do it. Alright, I need to go. Let me kind of scroll back up through chat. And I'll do the same thing I did yesterday. Uh, if y'all are down, I might go... Let's go check out my oldest base. Just because, like, this is what I normally do in this game, is build. This whole uh, permadeath stuff is intense. I've been getting wrecked. This like, it's nightmare settings, and that's something I'm not entirely accustomed to. But uh, it's been a lot of fun. Nice. Okay, yeah, sorry, just kind of like scrolling through Chad. Okay, it's gonna be okay. Alright, your first game you set a base in the military area. Right on. Yeah, those things are pretty rocking. They're the concrete walls. Yeah, those are good. Nazi Mermaid! Coming in with yet another gift sub on the day. My goodness, Missy Mermaid. Thank you very much. That gift sub to Deadshot. It's greatly appreciated. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. I see. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of catch, catching up here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Word, word, word. Caught up to the gift sub. And bam, there you go. Yeah, Deadshot. Uh, Missy Mermaid is a fabulous member of the community. Everybody in the Wild Patch, you know? And that's kind of where we all radiate out from. You know, from the Wild Man Tell streams. Like, this is where I've met all of these fabulous people, almost like. Mostly. Uh, Lorvax here and Missy Mermaid have been following me around since YouTube days. Back when I used to stream entirely on YouTube. Ah, uh, it's in the burnt forest. Yeah. Yeah, those military bases are pretty nice. Um, just because, like, you start off with concrete walls. Oh, really, game? You're going to load me in with... You're going to load me in the fog? I'm in a different bait? Like, a different save file? You're still going to load me in the fog? Rip. <laughs> well, here's the base. I don't know if you can tell, I'm a, I am a little salty right now. Uh, but that's a huge fail. Thanks, game. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, streaming is a lot of fun. Well, unfortunately, I can't give you a good view of the thing. But this was like my very, I'd say my very first exceedingly large build that we did. And because of the fog, I can't actually show it to you, which is pretty sad. Um, so we'll just go room by room. Kind of got our main crafting area. <laughs> it's a good time. 
And like seriously, there were times that it was pretty rare that I had all seven running, but I had all six. I had like six of those running for quite a while. Some fierce biz. I'm just like, I'm so salty about this because like you can't even see this. Like, what do you mean, game? Anyway, so this this is basically um, this was to catch screamers and random wandering hordes. This is not meant for horde night. This is not my horde defense. So we put a lot of time into a screamer slash wandering horde catch. <laughs> and I had to raise these pillars like three or four different times. Because zombies have a habit of just like sprinting over the edge. And this is where I learned that they fall like Looney Tunes. Uh, they will run a good like five or six meters out and then realize there's no ground under them and then they fall down. A little weird. Man, I am so salty about this. I like showing this base off, but you can't see anything now. Just do kind of like a quick drive around. And I had to turn all the lights off because it was making my game crash. Like, hop out. <laughs> yeah. You have a chainsaw? <laughs> Do I have a chainsaw? I don't know. I almost never use those things. Augers are my friends. Super rocking. Chainsaws are, like, just really loud. See, like, there is so much bass here, and the fog is, is like, totally killing it. I know, salt, 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 salt. It's like I'm a little bit frustrated by that death, but I'm more frustrated by the fact that it's foggy right here. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, but this is my horde defense. It's a, kind of an older design. I would absolutely not build this again. But uh, we made it large enough for multiplayer action, even though I'm basically a solo player. Oh, the auger? The auger is basically your pickaxe and shovel combined, right? Uh, it does all of your digging for you, like for getting you know, stone and metals and everything like that. Like, this is what you want. The auger is your homie. It is a great time for sure. So we have the primary horde defense. But it's kind of neat looking now that I left the mini bike light on inside. Also, light travels through blocks, so there you go. Too noisy? <laughs> yeah, Masada, I only use hand tools, but. The auger I have used many, many hours of. But these, these were basically put here just because. I had these big open concrete slabs with nothing on them. And honestly, these street lamps are rocking. If your street lamp is like the ninth block, I believe, you'll get like a good coverage on that. So what do we have? That would be five... That should be six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And what's funny is the, uh, the devs, for unknown reasons, like these street lamps, they're all too high, and none of the none of them actually touch the ground, <laughs> the light anyway. Yeah. So this this whole like 
permadeath business is new to me. Like this is kind of what we're up to most of the time. Bedroom for my dude. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of like the interior decorating stuff. I'm not usually super good at, um, or maybe not that I'm not good at it. It's just I like the building more than the decorating. Hey, Lex, coming in with more boats. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and I decided to get some a bit of each beverage. Good times. And of course, like, this one is just, like, stacked out. You don't play solo. You got buddies of the game. Oh, nice. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, having friends to work with is awesome. Uh, something to keep in mind, you can only cook in a campfire. So if you go get yourself an oven from the trader, you cannot cook in it. It's kind of rough. Oh, wow, I didn't realize I had all this in here as well. <laughs> the Icarus said. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Guest room. Well, kind of guest room. Kind of med bay area. If and folks get wrecked on a horde night, there's a place to patch you up. Oh yeah, I like drove straight past this, didn't I? Oof. Now there is a glitch in my game that has caused this corner right here to fall off multiple times. I have no idea why. All of the buildings, or all of the structures around this place are designed the exact same way and for some reason this one is the one that falls and unfortunately the last time I rebuilt it I just didn't put the plants back in I just took everything out but this is my garden it was fabulous for quite some time but yeah every once in a while when I'm coming back from like the trader or something I'll drive up and this whole section just falls off it's very very strange <laughs> And, uh, yeah, makes me a little salty. House is too big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've never had a, uh, you know, a way that I could just drive around the entire base. I've never had a, this is my first base that was ever spread out this far. And I super wish I could actually show this to you right now, but I can't. Uh, apparently. But yeah, that's kind of what it used to look like before I had to go turn all the lights off. So I really, really like the way this all turned out. Oh, heads up. Electronic lights will break your game. There we go. Clear out fog. Get out of here. Get out of here. We got cool stuff to look at. <laughs> but yeah. I've kind of set this up so that I can have people join in. Um, I'm just like a huge solo gamer and I've never actually had people join in. So we built this all by ourselves. Yeah, just kind of get a, a view of it as we drive by. This thing was a ton of fun to work on. Like I said, this was my first, like, excessively large build. 
And I kind of just call it that because it's absolutely not necessary, but my goodness, this was fun. I'd say the footprint on this is the largest that I've ever had. And for the sake of symmetry, we built a parking lot, basically. I can't help myself, man. Like, even right here. It's gotta be like, it's gotta be like a perfect square. <laughs> so here's the city. It's one of the smaller cities, yeah? But, yeah, my base... And it's basically because the entrance is right here. But this is my... This is my base. Oh, yeah, you definitely... Definitely show me up, for sure. But I love this. This was, like, a huge learning experience for me. Um, so we have the crafting room, the living quarters, uh, the garden... And then this is the primary horde defense, and then the secondary horde defenses, I guess. Uh, mainly just to kind of give me a big square to work with here. But yeah, we concreted out the entire thing. If it wasn't asphalt, it is concrete now. Oh, come on, game. I have, a, I have kind of a bad feeling that something's going to happen here. Yeah, like I said, all of these are designed the same way, but for some reason, this corner falls off every once in a while. Like, the whole thing. Like, from the top all the way down to the bottom. And, like, all the pillars will still be standing here, right? And, like, these pillars... Actually, they're not holding it on this side. But, um... Yeah, like, everything is, like, super well-supported. Every once in a while, just this one corner falls off, the both above and below. It's really, really weird. I did. I did, old school. I made it to the trader, and I was fighting some zombies, and I slipped off of the stone I was on. A lady killed me in three hits. She was like, whack, 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 you're dead. And that was it. It's that insane difficulty, though. <laughs> Oh man, but there used to be a shotgun messiah. Uh, actually, this is the shotgun messiah. The crates are still lootable, which is fun. <laughs> you can still loot those. Uh, there used to be a working stiffs here. Actually, right where my main horde defense is. And so, basically, that's kind of the issue. is like Building in a town, you pretty much have to get rid of anything that you think zombies will get stuck on. Because they, uh, they definitely get stuck on all of the things. Now, with this in mind, until I finished that horde defense, this one right over here is what I used for like several hundred days. And literally, this is all you need. On Masada, I only have one of these made of cobblestone. Still works absolutely fine. That's it. And you will see me build these a lot. I don't even really put these spikes up here most of the time. But a spike pit underneath some iron bars. GG, game over. Zombies are toast. That's all you need. And like I said, mine on Masada is all cobblestone. And it's like day 700, you know? It still works just fine. Ah, uh, this is Nemesis, old school, yes. Yeah, every once in a while when I'm driving up just like this, <laughs> that corner will fall right off. Yeah, this was my first long-term build. And what day is it? 3.52? That's not bad. I honestly, I'm kind of surprised I did this much stuff <laughs> in less than 400 days. I wonder if I had two-hour days on for a while. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I did. Yeah, I love this thing. This was uh, heavily influenced by uh, Grand Spartan, 
and his Cobalt Compound build that he did for Alpha 16 on PC. It's like an airport terminal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a good time. Uh, this is the best thing, though. This is the thing I'm probably most proud of on the entire build. This door does not actually clip on anything. It's fabulous. And because of those quarter blocks right there, look at that seal, brother. Look at that seal. Mm. <laughs> Telling you, it's so good. A uh, lady by the name of Christine Scruffamini was helping me sort all of that out. Uh, her and I like kind of came up with some ideas for this. Um, it's the reason that the top of my base is red. I had thought about bringing the concrete up and over the top and we were talking about it and I was like, man, that would just look really good from the top. And uh, it absolutely was. Yeah, this is what it used to look like right here when you drove down it. But too many lights and stuff going on, especially if I wanted to have, oops, multiplayer, it wouldn't have worked. Let's just drive around in the dark. I'm going to do one quick lap around and then I'll probably just go ahead and wrap this up. But yeah, this is my, this is like my, I guess, first big accomplishment. I felt really good about it. When we finished this thing, man, I was so hyped. Just, it's just a good time. Like, just driving around the base is just fun. <laughs> Absolutely unnecessary, but my goodness, it's awesome. It's a, you like that idea? You might have to steal it for your game. But yeah, buddy. Do it up. I love that design, because, like, if they run up, if they run up that ramp, they'll just, like, fall right out, you know? So they can't actually get into your base that way. It's not going to do them any damage, but they, uh, they cannot make it into your base that way. Oh, yeah, 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 the drawbridge, for sure. <laughs> but you don't want to build this whole thing? It's great. It was a fabulous time, I assure you. Man, I say that same thing every time I play this game. And now we can actually see this. See, isn't that like way more impressive than when it was foggy? <laughs> but yeah. It's like I I've I've definitely put in over four thousand hours into this game and Almost every time I play it, it's like there's still something to learn. There's still something to do. And that's why I'm doing this, like, uh, Permadeath series. Because the game is just, like, handing it to me. They're handing me my butt right back to me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's some rough business. So I have much to learn about that style of gameplay. Also, I have a ton to learn about building. There's so much that you can do in this game. I've actually got the blocks on me, it looks like, to repair that. Oops. Oh wow, you're gonna be like that game? Alright. <laughs> Doesn't really like me doing this, I guess. <laughs> oh, this poor old save file. But yeah, it doesn't actually load in from end to end. You see, the, the horde defenses are cut in half there. We can see our entrance. But, yeah, this thing was a blast. Had a fantastic time doing this. Start around 9 p.m. and when you look at the clock, it's like, yeah, dude, that happens all the time to me. And that's good. Like, there's so much to do. There's so much to learn. Like, uh, just like all the different resources and crafting and just like various ways to play the game. Like, there's so much to do. It's glorious. I love this game. It's like you'll get some salty people talking about like, oh, well, console doesn't have this or that or this, and the PC has all of these updates, and it's like, yeah, they do. It's a far more advanced game. It's definitely a lot better than this game, but my goodness, there is so much to do here. So much to be done.
Anyway. I like being, I, or I mean, <laughs> I am a bit of a nerd and I like showing off the base. Easy there, brother, what you doing? Oh yeah, we turned difficulty way down. I forgot about that. I was going to have people jump into the game. You loot, where'd it, man? There is looting to be done. Oh, there you go. There's like the, the top-down view of that. So these are concrete hole blocks. These are quarter blocks right there. And then concrete uh, ramps inverted on the inside. Oh, something to keep in mind. Drawbridges are four blocks wide. If you want a center door, you have to have an odd number. This is three, right? So my entire base is built off an odd set, and that's why this section is here. It's four wide for the drawbridge alone. And then I switch it to three when I made that turn. So the rest of the building has center lines all the way around. Yeah, and PS4 will not get updates. This version of the game is as it will be until the end of time. Um, there is a potential for us to get an updated version. It'll be an entirely new product, because PC is no longer compatible with this game. Right? PC and console are no longer compatible at all. Um, so maybe someday we will get a completed version of the PC game after the fun pimps are done. When they're finished with that, um, that would be our opportunity to potentially get a ported version of the PC game. But that's not even a, a guarantee, right? So, like, I don't even worry about it. I play my game, do what I can, enjoy it for what it is. It's still a great game. It has issues, it's got bugs. There are things I get salty about and I rail against, but overall, fabulous game. Would recommend, we'll keep playing. <laughs> but anyway, I should probably get to boogie and own. Let me see what we got here. Do this. We do have yet another Wild Patch member streaming. He's playing some Ark right now. So I think we're going to go ahead and set up a raid over that away if y'all are interested. Sir Nitro Killer. Doing some, uh... What did he say he's doing? Oh, taming and chatting. So he's working on taming up his dinosaurs. Your friends like duping things? So you run off and loot while they do their thing? <laughs> oh jeez. But um yeah, like there's there's so much stuff. You get to check out all the different POIs. Uh there's so much around to look at. Uh yeah, get into it. Love it. Check it out. Fight all the zombies, bash the faces in, build something ridiculous that you don't even need. This is like I said, this is absolutely not necessary by any means. <laughs> This is just because I love building. This is what I love to do in this game. It is my thing. Yeah, we're not, man. I will definitely be doing more. Um, like I said, we're still working on the Masada series. It's basically done. Um, and then the permadeath thing. That thing is, oh man, it's pushing me. It's pushing me to my, my limits here. You're going to build a windmill? Do it! <laughs> Get it done. <laughs> anyway, well, they're going to kick us over to that raid here, um, auto style, so I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. And thank you all. You all rock times a thousand. Really appreciate all your support. And uh, yeah, take care, everybody. And I will see you around next time.